I'm opening every pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, ranging from the newest sets all the way back to the original sets that you remember. And everything is first edition. What is up everybody? We are back with the every pack opening for the third time on my channel. It's been a couple of years since we've done this. The last time we did it was the 150K special. We're now at the 250K special. This is gonna be really exciting because there's over 325 different packs here to be opened up in one video. So you're gonna wanna sit back, relax, grab some popcorn. You might have to have a couple rounds of popcorn because this is going to be a long one. But before we hop into it, we are giving away a Dark Magician Girl CGC 10. This is from Magician's Force. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below what is your favorite set in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Let's not waste too much time, guys, because we have over 325 packs to be opened up today. Let's get right to it. I'm going to be keeping an eye on my recording, making sure everything's good. So right now, we are starting it off with the Mega Pack 10 from 2024. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to go crazy the pack trick on this one. We have the Transaction Rollback Prismatic Secret and the Light and Darkness Dragon QCR. Guaranteed QCR in this set, but a very nice one as well. It's going to be really hard to stay organized as we go throughout this. I'm going to try to keep all the foils in one pile at least and kind of go through them afterward because we have a potentially three, you know, two and a half hour, probably not three hour, hopefully long video, probably two and a half hours. I'm going to stay organized as we go. Okay, pack number two, Retro pack reprint. You guys, one of the most fun sets we've had in quite a while. So let's get to it. We do have a four pack pack trick on this one. I mean, doing pack tricks. Here we go. Jurai Gumo. We got Harpy Lady. We have this one at 0.7, you know, instead of one recording, because I want you guys to be able to see more of the packs as we go. Mystic Tomato. I think it looks pretty good. Here's Anru. Toon Summon Skull. And started off with a Time Wizard. So we got a QCR and a Time Wizard. You know, I remember to get everything. I didn't grab extra sleeves. Let's, let's hope we have enough as we go. That's our best hit so far. Time wizard. Let's keep it going, everybody. Uh, there are a lot of packs in front of you. Uh, I'm trying to keep them, you know, together, not falling all over the place, but it's going to be difficult. I don't remember the pack trick on this. Only three. We'll see how many Ultra Rucks and specials we do today. There will probably be a lot because we're opening every pack ever made, especially with the tournament packs. I mean, they make it really, really hard to remember. Oh, an ultra rare Celestial Light Sworn Angel. That's not guaranteed out of the Light of Destruction reprint. You don't necessarily have to do the reprint packs, but I decided to go with them. Well, actually, the guy I bought them from had a lot of the reprints, so I decided to continue with the most recent ones. Uh, so it kind of works out. Infinite Forbidden. This one, we could pull the Millennium Shield QCR. I've never pulled it, so it'd be really great to pull it. I wouldn't be mad at all. There's also a pretty significant pack coming up that I'm sure you guys know oh, that hopefully will contain a certain card we've been looking for. We have the Golem, Interdimensional Matter, Depressed Pard, Fiendsmith Sanct, and we have a super rare Memento Clan. That's a long name. I'm not going to try to say that. Also, another thing I want to note, guys, is this is the every pack opening. These are usually loose packs. That's usually where we get most of these. So the pulls may or may not be good. You know, it's hard to really say. We need to get a little bit of luck. So send me some luck in the comments, especially for this one, the Terminal Revenge. We have now opened the most. I've opened the most packs ever looking for one card, and it's this set, Searching for the Magia. So if there's if this is in here in one pack, it'd be the, a poetic ending, right? To, to pulling the thing. So we're gonna do two from the back. Oh, I Ultra Rux is special. No, wait, no, I didn't. I forgot what it was. Oh, no, no, it's all it's all foil set. I messed it up, but guess what? That just that fits that set perfectly. That I'm just completely confused. All right, so we didn't get it there. I mean, that was the dream for a lot of people that we'd pull it right there, but not quite. OTS 25. I don't know where the ultis are. I'm not gonna try to pack trick these because there's just no way to know with all these different. O like OTS and tournament packs. And there is the foil white prints, super rare. And then a couple of, you know, commons, nothing too crazy. Just a few packs in rarity two is probably a really nice one to uh, start with. So let's let's hopefully pulse like a QCR or something. Platinum rare, ghost ogre and snow rabbit. Give us the uh, IP mascarina alt art. That'd be cool. We have access code talker skill drain. Why do I feel like this isn't focused? Focus in, buddy. We have Rescue Wrap. Are we about to hit a dud pack? No, we didn't. Solemn Warning. There we go. Platinum Secret Rare. Very nice. Here's the problem. I got this. I've already mentioned this a few times in videos, but I got this stupid privacy screen, and I can't really see my screen very well. It's, it's really tough. I, I should just take it off, but then it's like I don't have a screen protector, you know? Speed Dual Tournament Pack 7. It looks like everything. Everything looks okay. It looks okay. Like, it, it, we're going to try... I'm going to try to upload this in 4K. It's going to be an absolute nightmare for a two and a half hour video. 
I don't know. We'll, we'll do our best to make it happen. Insect Princess. This is a tournament pack, by the way. So some of these can be crazy. Oh, wait. You get comments in here, so that might have not have been guaranteed. Speed Duel right there. Super rare Insect Princess. That's really cool. Okay, that might not have been guaranteed. I'll take that. Legacy of Destruction. First edition. Can we pull something? I'm just going to do three. Tenpai Dragon Phaedra. Didn't that just get a... Reprint, maybe there's a hiccup. Look, guys, I'm doing this. I'm actually recording this really late because I need to get it recorded so that it can get edited because this is going to take a long time. There's another super rare editing. One of these is like editing. Um, I don't know, like a Lord of the Rings movie or something. <laughs> That's basically what it's like. So shout out to my editor. So shout out the editor Kenneth in the comments, guys. Make sure you guys shout him out. All right. We have a uh, gold moon. Chaos Neos. Okay, it always from here it looks like it's blurry, but I think it's just because of the screen. Fusion Destiny. We have the. It was Hidden Arsenal Chapter One not that long ago. Did I get these mixed up in the order? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Okay, the order. There's probably gonna be something mixed up, so get used to it. Okay, Evil Swarm X Don Night School. Rock Sense. Okay, I hate this pack. It is so hard not to rock to special. Okay, wait, what? Silver Name looks so weird. It's like a secret rare, but it's not. Minerva reprint. That's also a silver name. I, That set is so weird. It's so weird, but those cards do look pretty, though, with the silver name. I will say that. Phantom Nightmare, first edition. So a lot of good a lot of good pulls, potentially, in Phantom Nightmare. Here we go. Uh, look, I don't need to be pack tricking everything. I'm probably going to stop doing this. Uh, Goblin, let's just raid Raptor. Cornvertible, but look, here's the thing. I don't know. It's just a habit. Three-Eyed Ghost. And we have the Sotovas. Okay, this is like the dragon guy, but he's also not a dragon in this one. Next one is OTS 24. Let's keep it going. More OTS. Can we get an ulti out of any OTS pack? That would be a W. That is a super rare, so not an ulti. The Fire Flint Lady used to be a big uh, common card. Sorry, it wasn't a common card. I forgot. It was a ultra and ultra rare in Battles of Legend Armageddon. So that makes it. What is this? Maze of Millennia. Okay, we're not pack tricking the collector rare sets there. Oh, see, because we're just going to do that anyway. We're just going to rux the special right to it. How many collector rares you guys think we'll get today? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully, hopefully at least a couple. What? Valiant Smash? Did they do two collector rare? Actually, no, that kind of makes sense because they did the one that had the QCRs. I think this one had QCRs in it. The uh, Arts or Christia, right? Okay, Centurion. All right, so nothing that time. He goes to Sister and spooky dogwood we got a long way to go i can't be stumbling already all right we're ready collection one ash blossom and joyous spring can we make it happen two from the i think it was only one from the back actually that's an ultra ancient fairy pot of extravagance oh and a platinum rare caught you can really see the platinum rare on this one surprisingly normally you can't and then forbidden droplet that ain't a bad card either all right so far nothing really too exciting and i think there will be usually in these it's a long stretch, you know, you're really hoping for something crazy, but a lot of it is, you know, not great pulls sometimes, but we're hoping that maybe today you just really just need one big pull, right? You just need one big pull to make it all awesome. So let's hope we can get one today. Age of Overlord, you know what could be in here? The SP Little Knights QCR. That would be pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, it'd be pretty cool. That would be a way to start. Fallen of Testina exceeds in trust. Nimleria, Cursed Bride Doll, the Supreme King, Pit Knight Philly, and the Snake Eye Ash. That is a pretty strong card that is still pretty, re pretty relevant in the meta today. We are back in 2023, though. So, uh, and there we go. The 25th anniversary dueling heroes 10 pack, which is a 2023 Mega 10. Let's see. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go side scroller on these because there are a lot of cards, and it's really hard to, to not do that with all these packs. We have a super rare. We have an Ultra. Is that another Pit Knight? Oh, Pit Knight early. Okay. And then we have Red Eye Zombie Dragon. I can't really see these that well. And then the Bestial Magnum. Uh, that's a pretty good one, actually. Seize Combine and Exo Sister Vetus. I had to change up the setup a little bit because there are so many packs right here. Like, the setup's a little different. Normally, you don't have this many packs you need to show on screen all at once. You know what I mean? It only really happens with this specific opening. Soul Burning Volcano. Anybody excited about this set? I know you guys have been waiting for this one. This is why you wanted me to do the video, right? <laughs> Soul Burning Volcano. Oh, well, that was a that was the that was the light pack, by the way, which I don't think I, I did those before. It's basically the same set, light edition. So it has three cards inside. Very exciting. But now we have the real version, which has five cards inside. Oh, combine them together and you still don't have a real pack. Come on. Salamangre, Jack Jaguar, Foxy, 
We have a rare, a Battle and Boxer Headgeared, and the Battle and Boxer Comet Cestus. Another fail from Soul Burning Volcano. Who's surprised? Dual Snexus. So we are back to mm, summer of 2023. I'm going to try to remember where we are as we go. One, two, three, four from the back. We have Small Scuffle, Kui Belt, the Blade Dragon, the Malaria, Emergency, Million Century. We have the something. That is a lot of. I'm not going to try to read every card. If I if there's too many words, I'm just going to skip it. Big Winged Burfamet. So far, guys, we're off to a slow start, but we really care about the Speed Tournament Pack 6. I didn't read that before. I didn't really realize how many tournament packs Speed Duel has. For not really having that many products, it's kind of a lot. Tyrant Dragon drop off. I think we actually did get lucky last time. Get Oh, no, we got the Super Rare there. Dark Summoning Beast. Very cool. You know, summon uh, some, some Sacred Beast. That's pretty cool. Also, I should mention early on, if you guys like this video and like old school Yu-Gi-Oh, new school Yu-Gi-Oh, pretty much all things Yu-Gi-Oh, you should subscribe to the channel. This is the 250k special. I need to once again thank you guys who have subscribed and supported for the last several years at this point. It's very cool that we've been able to do this three times. One of the Ollie font, little Lord of the Rings action. And then a couple more commons. Very cool. I hope to do this at some point again. You know, it's always really fun. Monsters Revenge. I've never pulled the Dark Magician... The, the Knight of Dragon Curse Magic. Let's see if we can do it right now. Performal Pal Karibo. Terraforming Secrets. And a couple of Ultras. Okay, cool stuff. Cool stuff, but not that crazy. Wild Survivors. No Collector Rare. We haven't pulled any High Rarity yet. No High Rarity. Off to a very slow start. Let's see if we can pull something. Rux and Special right into the Super Rare. That's fine to do that, you know, every once in a while because we do got a lot of packs to open up. Those Collector Rare sets are probably going to get Rux and Special. I mean, not even on purpose. It just happens. Cyberstorm Access. We are at the beginning of the 25th anniversary. <laughs> crazy how long it's been going, huh? Crazy how long it's been going on. One, two, three, four. Can we get a, if we get a Starlight Rare, then it's going to be insane. Remember last time we did this, guys? They didn't even have two CRs yet. Starlights were like the new, like not new, but they were the most recent thing. That's a good pull. Despian Lulu Wallalith. It has had a reprint in the tins, I think. So it's definitely hurt, but this is definitely our best pull so far. Secret Rare Lulu Wallalith was the big card of the set for a while. We'll have all the prices popping up on screen so you guys can see. We're going to have a total of what we pull here. We're not going to make our money back. Just keep that in mind. I mean, unless we pull some crazy card that can be graded a PSA 10, like late in the video, probably more than one of those, then we're probably not going to you know, be making it. By probably, I mean like 99.9%. .9%. Soul Tigre, Ojama Delta Hurricane. We have DNA Transplants. Sylphid, Neobug, Smashing Ground, A Hero Emerges, Ultra Evolution Pill, and Dedication Through Light and Darkness. That is a super rare. I will take it, not guaranteed. Not too shabby. All right, Dark Crisis, 25th anniversary. Here we go. Can we pull something nice? From the 25th anniversary. We just pulled a nice card in that last one. We have all the reprints here. So we're going to open all six of them. Which is pretty cool. Maju Garzettes. The Parasite Lunatite. And Final Attack Orders. It's like opening a whole other Legendary Collection right here. Very exciting. Back in early 2023 when this came out. I think it was April maybe when this was first brought out. It's pretty exciting. Darkness Approaches. Everybody liked it. Well, not everybody, but... It was at least fun. Let's say that. Oh, Forceful Century. There we go. Yeah, take that card out of your hand, buddy. We'll take that. We're starting to get some pulls. These old school reprints really helping us out. One, two, three. Here we go. Genzo time. We'll pull Genzo later in the video like we did originally on the very first time ever. And it didn't get recorded. Spike bot. We have Nobleman of Extermination and Insect barrier okay not that time metal raiders my favorite set does have a couple of options in here this metal raiders we have the uh promotional pack and we have the first edition pack so several metal raiders will be open today which is cool not several three a few tana wisdom rainbow flower mushroom man number two if you guys missed the wheel goat episode where i used this against farfa go check it out i had to bring it in i mean it's it's one of our cards uh okay a couple cool cards there but oh a little Josh. Josh's favorite ultra rare. The Horn of Heaven, which is, by the way, the worst ultra rare in Metal Raiders. Okay. LOB, 25th anniversary. Keep it going. We're still in 2023. So we got like all the way to 2002, guys. 2002 to 2004 is what we're opening up today. We're in 2023. So a long way to go. Enjoy the opening. Sit back and relax. A fissure and a man eater bug. Another super rare. That was actually really good for those reprints. Like three or four foils there. I think it was three. Maze of Memories, you know what's in here? The Gate Guardian Collector. I am going to do a pack trick on this because these have been brutal. 
about Rux and Specialing. We have the, uh, something, the creepy little punk. There we go. Treacherous Trap Hole. Spellbook of Fate. Our fate is sealed. Yugi, your fate is sealed. Tournament pack five. Will we pull an ultra rare? Sphere Karibo Classic Speed Duel card. We have Sinister and Jar of Greed. Jar of Greed's pretty cool. That's a nice card. Okay. Speed Duel Tournament Pack 21. This one's like folded over. It's kind of interesting. I think that was by the guy who had all the packs. He just did that to make it easier to fit with the others. Okay. Contract with Aquamir. Mud Dragon. Light of the Branded. Light of the Branded. We have Photon Hypernova. Are we still in 23? I think this is February 23, right? I think, I think. Okay, is there Starlights in here? I think, yeah, there's Starlights. Kashtira. Yeah, it's Kashtira. Rise Hearts in here. What else? I can't really remember. Let's see. All right, super rare. So that's not going to help us too much with the Starlight rares. Amazing Defenders. This might have been the first set of 2023. I'm pretty sure it was. Let's do two from the back. We have rares. We have Rhoda. I would take a Rhoda and collect rare. That'd be cool. E Pearly Plump. He's a little plumpy. He's a little e-pearly. Nothing too crazy. Let's open this Crystal Revenge because inside there are 10 potential Starlights. It's before they started doing 25 QCRs, they only had Starlights. So let's kind of see what we can get. An Evil Twin Lilla. Okay. All right. No Starlight that time. It was one per case. So pretty difficult to pull. Mavens, we are definitely in 2020. Yeah, that was the last set was 2022. But this set is also, I think this is November 2022. You can get the Secret Pharaoh Rare inside of here if this is an a, a, an English pack, not English, US pack. That's different. We have Sky Trigger. And wait. Was this an all ultra pack except for the. I didn't remember that. All ultras. That's a little weird. Okay. Darkwing Blast. Darkwing Duck. All right, let's start. Dark... Let's go, Darkwing Duck. When you need Darkwing Duck, you call Darkwing Duck. I can't remember the song. <laughs> when you need him, you call him. It's Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck time, give us the luck, yeah. Cucumber Horse and the Branded Regained. We didn't get what we want, it's time for the pain. Listening to me rap is really... Okay, yeah, okay, we gotta stop, that was bad. Okay, Tournament Pack 20. Yeah, okay, let's just pretend like that never happened. I'm already getting crazy and we just started, okay? I'm already getting crazy, that's not good. Though I did, I did do pretty good rhyming, though just, just a little cringe, you know? <laughs> the cringe the cringe level was definitely creeping up on this video. I mean, we're opening Yu-Gi-Oh! packs. Not cringe at all. Definitely cool. But then when you start rapping, yeah, that's really where it turned around. All right. Megaton 2022. Let's go. Oh, Ash Blossom. Let's go. That's a good card. Okay. It's one of the better cards we're going to get. Ash Blossom. Not bad. Okay. I see you, Mega1022! And, uh, oh yeah, a little, uh, Albion. Very cool. Alright, 2022. Okay, we, we've gotten a few good cards so far. We've gotten a few good cards. Ash Blossom has had reprints, but it's okay. What is this? Uh, Tactical Masters? Okay, two from the back. Let's try to figure this out. Let's try to get it. Our first CR, maybe our only CR. Uh, not this time. Not, not our first CR, sadly. Come on. Power of the Elements. We're still in 22. Let's see how, if I can how long I can keep up like knowing when the sets came out because I was around for like you know at this point when we get back before 20 like 19 2018 it's gonna be a lot harder for me we have the uh, gym knight something gym knight lady rose diamond very nice all right more of these legendary duelists the season packs not my favorites but maybe they can give us something cool okay legendary duelists let's see we didn't get, even get the promo packs which is the best part okay they're super rare um, uh, Moon Dragon Quilla's in here. There's a, uh, Inferno, Infernal Wing. Infernal? Infer no, Inferno Wing was right. And then the, uh, an Honest Neos. That used to be a big card. Not so much anymore, but Elemental Heroes. Everybody loves that. Back to more Light Packs. So we're kind of on some, like, not incredible sets right now. Uh, Light Pack. These are, like, available in, like, dollar stores. And usually they have nothing. But I have pulled a foil from there before, but very, very rarely. Also, the fact that this set is pretty bad. You know, uh, Duels from the Deep is not great. We can get a Ghost Rare, though. And, uh, oh, wait, Super Rare. That's not guaranteed. I'll take it. Not guaranteed. Definitely not a great card, though. But that's fine. Uh, number Tournament Pack 4. This is not Astral Pack 4. This is not uh, Turbo Pack 4. Wait. What's the other big one? Turbo Pack 6. and uh, No, Astral Pack 4 and OTS 4. Those are both big. Oh, that's an Ultra out of a Tournament Pack. That's pretty good, and it's Dark Magician. That could be that could be decent. It's probably not great because it's really not an amazing card. Maybe in Speed Duel it's okay because it's not like the worst card ever. It's Dark Magician. Everybody's Dark Magician. They're probably trying to support it. 
Okay, OTS 19. This one has like skill drain in the really like poor condition ones. I think Albaz is maybe an ulti in here. Uh, slime token. Yay. We got a slime token, everybody. Who's excited? Slime tokens for everyone. I'm not excited about slime token. Okay, Dimension Force. It does look cool. I will say that. The slime token's pretty dope. Oh, okay, we're in 21. No, we're, no, we're in 22. We're definitely in 22 because the next set definitely reminds me of that. The ghost from the past. Parasomnia pillow. There you go. Shout out to um, to Simo and the okay ultra rare Dynamorphia Rex term. Very nice and uh, masochist uh, with the Parasomnia pillow. Ghost from the past. Second haunting. Here we go. Speaking of, hopefully you guys saw the auction series episode the other day. It was pretty fun. Definitely um, did not did not duel my best, but that's okay. I mean, it was a little bit past go format. Okay, you got to cut me some slack. But the actual episode was still super fun. The videos this week were honestly all like really fun, like for different reasons. What is this? Hidden Arsenal Chapter One? Oh my gosh! Yeah, wow. We are there's some bad sets come out recently. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we have Karibo. We have which I did open one of these actually for auction series. What the heck is happening here? Oh, yeah, they have these weird ones. Dark Magician, our first Dark Magician of the opening. We'll probably get another one at some point. Let's hope so. Dark Magician, we have a couple. Oh, Elemental Hero, a Flame Wingman, and these stick together. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yeah, that's that's not a great set. Let's not spend too much time talking about that. Speed Duel Tournament Pack 3. We are getting older and older. Dust Tornado, Zombina, and Skull Servant. All right, Tournament Pack 16. Oh, no, 18. 18, sorry. Uh, we are still in 22 because Battles of... Wait. Battles of Chaos was 22, right? Yeah, it was 22. Yeah, it was. It was. Okay, another token. Awesome. We are tokening it up, huh? A lot of tokens. All right, Battles of Chaos. I believe this was early 22. Because I think it was one of my favorite sets from 22, right? That was 22, not 21. Because I think 20... I feel like 21 wasn't that great, if I had to think back. Dynamorphia Sonic, Iridora, Clear New World, Skill Brown Magician, and a Guardian Chimera. At release, this would have been a crazy pull. It's had so many reprints. I think it was in one of the rarity collections. I, I feel like it was. Still a really good pull, though. So we are getting some good hiccups. Secret rares. Grand Creators. Now, I feel like this was either the first set of 22 or the last set of 21. This was a really big set. Like, there was a lot of really good archetypes. I think all the archetypes in here were really strong, if I remember. No, Insector. Never mind. <laughs> Not Insector wasn't, but some of them were really good. Xyz Universe. Uh, okay. Yeah. Wait, what was I? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just keep going. Okay, this was the last set of the year, I think. Brothers of Legend, I'm pretty sure, was the last set of the year. 21. Okay. Uh, this could have the Dragoon. Maybe. Maybe. No, but we did get a Dragonroid, which is a very cool-looking card. I will say that. Let's go back to Maximum Gold, guys. We will be opening a lot of golden sets throughout. This is probably one of the least exciting, but it does have potential access code, which I did pull the other day, actually. Hita. Dyson Sphere. And Exodia, the Forbidden One. A very nice to pull Exodia. Maybe we can pull Exodia, the whole thing, throughout this opening, through every pack. I'm going to keep Exodia to the side. Let's hope that happens. We have the Exodia head. All we need is the limbs. Like Dark Legends can, you, know, you can pull multiple in there. Retro packs, stuff like that. All right, Burst of Destiny. One of the best sets of 21. Obviously, everything got reprinted, but I did never pull the Starlight. Starlight? Stratos. I'm trying to say Stratos. Starlight. Starlight Stratos. Uh, or Stratos Starlight, however you want to say it. The Mimicking Maneater Bug. Watch out for this, dude. And a Super Rare. Okay. Summon Limit right there in the comments. We have another Light Pack. Legendary Duelist. Synchro Storm Light Edition. Will we pull a Baron? No, we will not. Baron, though Baron is banned and he has also, you know, been reprinted a lot. So he's been, he's had the ultimate treatment. He had a collector reprint later. He had, uh, oh, there we go. He, high Speed Roid Clear Wing Rider. Okay, cool. Ultra rare. Yeah, Baron got the, the collector rare print later. Then he got the rarity print. Then he got banned. So it was like, how to kill a card, cards value 101. That's what happened with Baron. All right, OTS 17, I believe. Yes, that is, okay, pretty cool. Cyber Dragon Nova. Pretty cool, we're on a 2021's Mega 10, so we're some, it's probably in the September range, something like that. Let's see if we can pull our first big card. Well, there's nothing really big out of here. When the, I mean, I don't even know what the biggest card is. Actually, that's probably the biggest card, honestly. A Zeus like, Ultra, that's probably the best card you could possibly get out of there. Ultra Rare Zeus, I will take that for sure. Hey, Dawn and Majesty, I'm just throwing this out there. We pulled a Stardust. You have now been passed as the, you know, the set I've opened the most packs of. I have opened more Battles of Legend Terminal Revenge now. So let's just pull another Stardust. Why not? 
Why not pull the second one? That'd be cool. I got a nine on my last one, so a ten here would be cool. Branded opening. Still a great card. I think that's still like three bucks. That's not bad for how old that set is. I mean, a super rare ever being three dollars is good. So being three years old and also being a super rare and still being worth money. Like, I'm probably wrong. It's probably not. I don't think King's Court has a pack trick, actually. Can you give us a god card? Secret Pharaoh's rare would be cool. Or, or collector rare would be good. What? Oh, no, it just doesn't have a pack trick. That's right. I, <laughs> I, I already knew that. I said it before that beforehand and still got excited. This one has the alternate art Cyber Dragon, and I think maybe, no, Imperm's in 17. We already opened that. There's another good card in here, too, as an ulti. I can't remember which one it was. Let's see if we can get one of them. Nope. Photon Pulse Dragon. If we get a single OTS pack that has a pull, it's going to be a success. Lighting Overdrive, uh, yeah. Uh, Black Rose Dragon, still never been pulled in Starlight Rare on the channel, so let's try to continue that. As you can tell, we are actually on the screen for where we are on the first pack. There are 150 packs in the back row, so once we get to that part, it'll be 150 packs left. Well, there are more than that in the front row. There's like 175, I think. Uh, ooh, Life Twin, Key Skill Frost. I think that's still worth a couple bucks, actually, even though it's had a reprint. Last I checked, at least. Ancient Guardians, not much going for this set. Never really was a good set, and since then, there have been reprints. I don't think there's a pack trick. Let's go back to that, because I think they started doing where you needed a pack trick, you know, after King's Court, and we are before King's Court now. Rooks and Special. And the Ursartic. Mm, I don't even know how to say that. Not even gonna try it. If I don't know how to say something, I'm, I'm always a little scared I'll say like something bad, you know? <laughs> Trying to pronounce it. Okay. Goes from the past one. If we get a Dark Magician here, that could really make this video. I don't I don't think there's a pack trick on this one. Okay. This is gonna test my knowledge of pack tricks, and I think I was right. Here we go. Okay. I got excited there. Okay, OTS 15. I, we're getting too far back. I don't remember what was an OTS. Fit. No, I do. This was Arm Dragon. <laughs> this was Arm Dragon because in a mystery box the other day, we pulled the Arm Dragon level 10. It's worth like five bucks or something. Like something extremely, extremely uh, low. All right, Proxy F Magician recently got a QCR print. Or was it just a secret print? I can't remember. Let's hydrate up though, everybody. If you're watching, you're going to need to hydrate because it's been 30 minutes of watching this video and you still probably have two hours left. And while you're down there, just, you know, just make your way down to the like button. Hit that thumbs up. And if it highlights for you, that means you did a good job. Thumbs up to you. And then, oh, wait, there's another button called the subscribe button. Whoa. If you hit that, then you are really killing it right now. Okay, wait, what is this? Blazing Vortex? Yeah, okay. Who cares? We don't It's Blazing Vortex. Like, guys, it's Blazing Vortex. Pot of Prosperity is not even expensive anymore in, in the... Uh, in any print, really, even the the uh, big ones, only 90 bucks, which is still a great card, but compared to 600 or whatever it was, not great. Okay, Legendary Duel Season. Man, these has been going on a long time. Wait, do we... Do we do Season 3? There was a Season 3 of this, right? I feel like we didn't open... Maybe we did open Season 3, and I just glossed over it. Okay, Battles of... I don't know. Every pack-ish, you know. We might miss one. We might miss one. We're doing our best. If it's Legendary Duel Season 3, let's be honest, we didn't miss much. As you can tell, that set was pretty bad. We did get a Black Rose, which is actually decent. But Legendary Duel Season 3 was actually the only set I ever opened for Konami. Yeah, only sponsored video by Konami. I opened Legendary, Legendary Duel Season 3 early. Only time it's ever happened. Konami, feel free to, you know... Bring me back, baby, but I don't I don't think it's gonna happen. Look, I don't think it's gonna happen. All right, let's see what we can get. <sighs> Artemis, a little Alistair action. I feel like we pulled this last time we did the every pack opening. This is a really great card to play with invoke decks. Very nice. That used to be more expensive back when I, you know, I think the last time we did it. Okay, maximum gold, and here we go. The original print, we have Noble Knight. Okay, Lord, Ga Galaxy Aztec, not Galaxy Aztec, yeah. No, it is Galaxy Aztec, yeah. number one of seven. I'm confusing myself. Ash Blossom, number two of the video. Beautiful, and a Nibiru, that's a really good pack. Oh my goodness. Kind of a really good pack right there. Okay, Zeus Starlight. I mean, I would go home happy. I would go home happy. And by go home, I mean like, you know, turn the camera off because <laughs> I'm home right now, but I would be home right now and I would be happy. Does that count? Does that count as going home happy? Uh, Virtual World. Zeus Starlight is such a pretty card. I pulled it before, last pack magic. It was like the four pack magic or something, but yeah, okay, not this time, but it was an amazing ball. That was awesome. OTS 14. We're on to the mustard color. We are are we in 2020? Because I think Rage of Raw was 2020. I think we're in 2020, or at least the, the either the end or the very beginning of uh 2021. I'm pretty sure Rage of Raw was 2020. Pretty sure it was. Okay, Rage of Raw. 
Ghost Rare Wing Dragon Raw, much cheaper than it used to be, but I don't care. I would love to pull it. Okay. Not even guaranteed foils that time, so, you know, pretty tough. Dragons of Legend, the complete series. This was definitely a flopper of a set. But is there anything cool that I can't remember, maybe? Okay, we got the, uh, what is this? Eremos? Critius, Fang of Critius, the comic hand. Okay, there's some some cards in there, I guess, that from Dragons of Legend. Uh, not overly exciting. All right, so far, I think we, I mean, it's not like we pulled awful. We've pulled a few good cards, but there hasn't been anything like that we're going to, you know, jump out of our seat or anything. So there's still, I mean, we're in year 2020, so we got a lot of years left. We got 18 plus years still to go. Okay, that's a pretty card. The Cypher's Quantum Dragon. I don't think it's too crazy or anything. Memories of Hope. But uh, we'll take it. 2020, there was, that was the original Dragoon year. When uh, Dragoon was like crazy. It wasn't like $60 or something out of the 10, which like a 10 is worth, you know, 15, 20 bucks. So it was kind of nuts. Return of the Duelist. Here we go. DD Crow action. Triple Tactics Talents. I mean, this was a major bit. This was one of the first giant Starlight sets where it was just crazy, crazy good. Uh, and really, really meta relevant. Linker Bell, a unauthorized, and the Infernal Bull Knight. Yeah, I'm really struggling right now to read. Okay, every time I see one, I'm like, okay, yeah, let's go. I'm excited. 10K Dragon. <laughs> now, wouldn't that be a pull out of one pack? Wouldn't that be a pull out of one pack, right? <sighs> oh, it's at the front. I forgot about that. No. Okay, no, no 10K Dragon. We tried, we tried. Legendary Duel Season 1. Joey and Pegasus. Here we go. Little reprint of the Legendary Duelist. We have Crystal Beast. We have Ancient Gear, Red Eyes, Toon Dragon, the Ryuran. We have a Desperado Barrel Dragon, Curse of, Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon. What an amazing card. Probably the best card we've pulled so far. Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon is not at all redundant. Not at all. Very, very great card. Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon, probably the most exciting one we've pulled. Toon Chaos, first edition. This pack's all sticky, so I'm glad to finally open this thing. Get it out of the way. All right. Uh, let's not do a pack trick. I think it just goes to the middle on this one. BLS. Yep, Magician of Hope. Okay, okay. All right, come on. Come on, big pull. OTS 13. Guys, the first ever pack opening, or every pack opening. Wow, it was right before Toon Chaos. Is that right? Huh. The first ever every pack opening. I needed this pack, so I entered into a tournament of Frontline Games, and I, I just dropped <laughs> so I could get the pack. Because I needed this pack. It was the most recent one. Okay, so uh, good memories doing that. I'll think of that every time I see OT OTS 13. That's a sweet Edison card. I'm going to pull that out. And where art thou? Edco. So I have memories of going to Walmarts in Florida while I was at like the beach or something trying to get the uh, the effect veiler. Because that was before we opened like mass packs back then. We just opened, you know, I still opened a lot of packs, but I didn't open like live stream. We're opening a million packs, you know, kind of like we're doing with Magia. Uh, but, uh, oh, okay. Ultra rare, ravenous. Cool. So it was a little bit different back then. So I was like, ooh, pumped to pick up some, uh, some Medco. Secret Slayers. I remember this was a big one because of Eldritch. Eldritch was huge at the time. Let's see if we can get one right here. It'd still be nice. Solemn Judgment. It has a lot of super rare prints, though. DD Borderline. That's a classic old card. And Arika Glamour. Secret rare. Dual Overload. Now we're really getting into this. These sets are super nostalgic to me because du Dual Overload, I did a huge video. This was before I did live streams. Rise of the Duelist was my second live stream. Battles of Legend Armageddon was my first, I think. So this set, I did like a 500 pack opening. I think Chelsea actually helped me. And we just opened a bunch for a super long video. And uh, it was pretty cool. Up uh, there. Oh, that's a great card back then. That's banned. Verte. Uh, Omega and the Dinomorphous Dinomischus or whatever it's called. <laughs> Paleozoic Dinomischus. There we go. All right. Uh, Ignition Assault. We're getting to the very first ever Starlights. Not quite yet, but this is uh, Lightning Storm, which I have invested in and it is going well. <laughs> it's not going well. It's not going well, actually. I invested in one of them for our 1K TCG player spending video, which, by the way, we actually need to update that. It's going to be a little late. Uh, oh, Achichi at Ignister is actually a secret rare. Pretty good. I do, and I, need, I just remembered I need to update this. And it's going to actually supposed to, we we're supposed to update in the middle of this week, but because, you know, it's the every, it's the every pack open, it's the 250k special, we're not going to be able to. So we have one of the mini movie packs. So I'm pretty sure I got all of them. This is the secret edition. There's like a million of these. There's the secret right at the front. Okay. Oh, no, they're all secret. Wait, I forgot about that. Gold gadgets, all secret rares. Yeah, because then they're all gold, all secret. There's a bunch of different versions. It's really weird. Magical Hero. This is uh, 2020 still. 
Magic Mirror was a huge legendary duelist set because, you know, Dark Magician and everything and some other good cards. Uh, here's the light pack, so it's going to have nothing, as usual. If it has anything, we're going to be shocked on any of the light packs. Magical Hero, not light. Come on, not light. Give us something. Quick Draw is a pretty great card to be in there. Hero Lives, another good common. Dark Magician Girl is a cool common. And a Magician's Navigation, so not guaranteed foils back then. Still pretty cool. Or not back then, but in Legendary Duelist. Back then, it was guaranteed foils. It's just that specific set. Trials of the Kingdom. This is back when Speed Duel had actual, like, real sets. It was, like, just regular booster boxes. And a Jirax. Oh, no, there's four cards. I always forget that. It's so weird. Four cards. OTS 12. So we are back in the old, old days of Ruxin. I was, like, I don't even know. I was I was barely around at this point. We have Brotherhood and a Tinny Spirit. Vishuda, actually, really good card. Tinny Spirits are pretty strong. Uh, Tinny, what is it? What they play at Sword Soul Tinny. Yeah, that was a big, big set. Mystic Fighters. Here we go. Dark World Dealings, nice card. Sammy Destruction, also a cool old card. Generator Boss Fight. Mathematic Division and Dragon Maid. Welcome. More secrets. Or more uh, more foils. Nothing too crazy. Chaos and back. Second ever Starlight set. We could get the IP Mascarena. We've pulled it two times before in the same opening. Okay, so there, this is actually a rare, I think. So we're going to do that. If we pulled that card, that would be insane. I don't know what it goes for now because it got, you know, a couple reprints and alt art and stuff like that. But the original one, it would still be a really nice collector piece. And there is a super rare. The Prime Mineral Congrate. A little bit of King Kong. A little bit of... You know, craziness going on there. Immortal Destiny. This was a big set back in the day. This was a really good set. It had uh, some, what, Malicious Bane. What was the other one? Uh, gold, uh, something like that. Gold something. I don't remember. Sun Dragon. Let's just pull him right now. I think I invested in whatever his name was. S the Suppe Duskwalker. Okay. Suppe. 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 We're in 2019. We've been in 2019. Chaos and back to 2019, too. Okay, what is in 2019? We don't get the promo, so I don't remember what's actually in the pack. Incantation, Talismandra. Crusadia Equimax is cool. Danger Nessie is good. Okay, that's actually not too bad of a mega pack there. This was back when it was like three foils in a mega tin, not like a hundred like it is now. All right, who remembers this set? I'm sure we haven't seen this one in a mystery box a couple of times. Fist of the Gadgets. Oh yeah, what a sick set. I've been excited about opening more of this. Yeah, oh, that's actually the best card in the set. Uh, feels like we pull that every time we open it. Gold Gadget, which was in the MVP set. And we have an Archfiend's Call. Cool looking artwork. I don't think it's really too great, though. Speed Duel Tournament Pack 2. Here we go. Let's see what we shall pull. Summer's Art. And ready for intercepting. A couple more super rares. Not too bad. OTS 11. I really don't remember what's in any of these OTS sets. We used to open up these because they were a little bit easier to come by. You know, people would sell them online and you could actually get a hold of a few of them. But... These days, it, they, they've been doing tokens in there a long time, I guess. But these days, it is hard to open these, so it's hard to remember what's in there. Scars of Battle, little Joey Wheeler. Um, what is this called? Speed Duel. We're about to open the first ever Starlight set, which will be pretty exciting. Then we're going to be on to the Dark Ages of Yu-Gi-Oh. So let's just pull Opelosa. Not Opelosa. Yeah, Opelosa. Yeah, not IP. I was thinking I said IP, but I said Opelosa. Okay, three from the back. Flippity flop, floppity flip. Give us a Starlight, Opelosa. Any Starlight would be great, but Opelosa would be fantastic. Fuma. V Voltster? Voltister? Where it says current. Some more gone slot. We have a rare. And we have... May I send you Hitat. That's like, may I send you to the Shadow Realm. Okay. Battles of Legend, Legend Heroes Revenge. This set has the original Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. Soldier, Soldier. And he's not right there. Trap Trick Sarah was big for a while, actually, because, you know, and I got the Trap Trick Structure deck. That was actually an expensive card. I doubt it still is, but let's see what else is in here. The Wasp Guy, Battle Wasp. The Battle Wasps are kind of cool, actually. And we are getting toward the beginning of Speed Duel sets, like the OG Speed Duel. The origin of Speed Duel. High Tide Gyojin. Trinity Beast. Sonic Duck. And more commons. Okay. Here's the Dark Neo Storm. Not a great set. It did have Fusion Destiny, the original. Super rare in here. Was a big card when you could actually use it for... Uh, what's that card called? Uh, Destiny Hero, Destroyer, Phoenix, Enforcer, or whatever. Super rare. Okay. Yeah, so not an incredible set. A lot of these sets coming up are not that good. Like, that. this era, 16 to 18, was not amazing. They're, at least in my opinion, for collectability. I'm sure at the time and playability they were, 
as Gear Freed and Wonder Wand. Those are really warped, actually. But in terms of actual, you know, collectability, there wasn't much to collect back then. OTS 10, it's kind of when I started too, so I'm glad I didn't get like scared off, you know, and just not do anything, because who knows, we wouldn't be here right now if we had changed our mind, because the set sucked. Uh, fortunately, they changed them to something cool. And we have a Orchid Babble. I'm really hoping for one big ulti or something out of there. Dual Power. This was another set that I didn't open massively, but I did get several of these from... There was a person back in the day who I don't know how she was getting her product, but she would always sell me a bunch of product. And then she just disappeared off the face of the planet. I'm like, maybe she wasn't getting that fully legally. <laughs> I was like, I, I didn't really think about how sketchy that was until she just disappeared off the face of the planet. And I just didn't send me messages anymore. I'm like... I'm not sure what was going on there, but I was buying them like just for a little bit cheaper than store price. So I was like, look, this is a good deal for me. So uh, sure. OK, whatever. And then, you know, turns out they were just gone. I didn't hear it. I didn't. I even looked in the news like they get arrested or something like that. And it's like, don't know. Never figured it out. So maybe they just stopped selling stuff. I really don't know what happened with that. OK, perform pal. Wonder Wand. But that was how I used to buy stuff before I bought like cases and stuff like that. And it wasn't even that much. It was like I Celine. It was probably like. 15 boxes of dual power or whatever it came in. What did dual power come in? I feel like it was one of those boxes, right? No, that was dual devastator, but it was stuff like that. But it was like 10 or 15 of those. So it was like not a crazy amount, but it was like more than I you could usually buy at Walmart. Savage strike. Okay. Can we get the Borlo Savage Dragon, right? That's what it's called. I'm going to do three. Borlo Savage Dragon Salamangrates are in here. Time Thief Redoer? Is this the original Time Thief Redoer set? Okay, sure, Nui. I love sure, Nui. That's cool. Very pretty card. Check that out. Very nice. Okay. Getting to the beginning of Legendary Duelist as well. It's Legendary Duelist. Yeah, these were the kind of the ones I liked back then was Legendary Duelist because, you know, it was old schools, nostalgic, all that stuff. Cyber Angel Benton. I didn't love that. Cyber Angels and friggin' Luna Light. Yeah, okay. Not great. And the Cyber Egg Angel. Okay, not great pack right there. OTS 9. This does have Stratos inside. This does have Ulti Stratos, potentially. Not this pack, but this set. Maybe this pack will, though. That would be a big pull. I'd take that. And another token. This is brutal with the tokens, man. Tachyon Dragon's in there. That's pretty cool. Hidden Summoners, first edition. Here we go. Let's go. Tatsun Necro. Miyakashi, Shirnui, Preparation Rights, and Secret Rare Miyakashi. Or, uh, yeah, Miyakashi as well. Yeah, that era of buying like that stuff was back when I used to stream on Instagram. Who remembers that? Did anybody watch the Instagram? This is an unlimited soul fusion, by the way. That's that's an overlook, but who cares? It's soul fusion. Not a big deal. It's all first ed, you know, mostly besides soul fusion. You know, whatever. Thunder Dragon, Colossus, who cares? We'll probably pull, like, the best card in here now. We have Salamangre, Parallel, Panzer, Galaxy Brave. And Thunder Dragon Duo. That's a cool card. Thunder Dragon Duo. Super rare. I think that's the first one that's been unlimited that I've noticed, at least. Legendary Duelist. Abyss, white white dragon abyss, maybe? Yeah. Let's get something cool in here. There are cool Photon Thrasher's cool. Power Bond's also cool. Blackwing, this is a cool set. There's just good good archetypes in here. And the, okay, we end with the Abyss Actor. Oh, that's kind of a brutal way to end that cool pack. 2018, guys. We are back to the beginning. This is the beginning of Ruxin. I got into it at the beginning of 2018. So all this set is like this is like real nostalgia for me. I didn't really play with these, though. Top Logic Bomber Dragon, because I wasn't playing really at all. Goki. This card's kind of crazy, because he's 2300. You can special in. Treasure Panda. Anybody trying to summon Exodia? Like out Gardner. OTS 8. I've pulled a lot of ultis out of these OTS packs in the past. But yet, I can't remember what most of them are. Let's see. Ninjutsu Art. That's bringing me back to the Duel Links days. And we have Twin Triangle Dragon. Sa Shadows in Valhalla. This is going to be a long video, guys. This is going to be a long video. It's already been like 50 minutes on my end. Hi, Speedroid. And Twin Twisters. Very nice. Twin Twisters is a good hit out of there. We're kind of in an era, though, where there's not like anything huge to hit. So like, even if we get the best card, it's not going to be that great. So just anything decent is good. And uh, yeah, for these, I'm not even pack tracking. That is a classic. Cosmo Brain is a Duel Links Blue Eyes card. Super Rare Noble Knight. Yeah, Cosmo Brain. Wow, I that is a... That's a throwback right there. That's for sure. That card was fun. Battles of Legend, Relentless, Lever Revenge. Only thing I remember out of here is Orgoth or Relentless. I'm not sure I opened much of this. A uh, card trooper. Oh, that's good. Torrential. Okay. Neil Spage and Grand Mole. What a sick pack. All right, Battles of Legend. I see you. Okay, Dark Saviors. First edition. Here we go. 
Dark Saviors, Tune Table of Contents, pretty cool. Shadow Vampire. We've got a little Fur Hire action. Okay, a Horn of Drones. And Vampire Frolein. Frolein. It's like uh, Indiana Jones. That's creepy guy burns his hand, you know? Everybody remembers that, dude. Flames of Destruction. Get an original Ghost Bell, an original Infinite Impermanence. I would be down for either one of those. I'm going to do three. I'm going to do three. I think it might be the second to last card because I didn't flip any flop, but that's fine. Mech Knight Avram, 2K Attacker in 2018. Wow. Uh, yeah, okay, it was a second. No, it was third to last. Okay, you really needed a flippity flop there. A super flippity flop. OTS 7, I think, okay. This is Link Spider and all those. I once bought a full set of ultis out of this set, and it was kind of like, yeah, it was right when it had come out. Yeah, this is, man, this is bring, bringing back some memories, which is pretty exciting. Not, okay, exciting is the wrong word, but pretty cool. I'm not like, woo, it's so exciting, but it is cool. Start back brains. I will say, I'm gonna jinx myself, but I'm doing pretty good preserving all these packs, trying to keep them nice. Link restart, dotscape, because I'm probably, every time I do one of these, people hit me up to buy the packs. I'm going to sell them all at once. You have to buy every pack. To make it easy on me, you have to buy every single pack wrapper if you wanna buy the pack wrapper. So if you want one of those and you see this video, I told I wouldn't hold for anybody because it's just too, it's difficult to hold for people when it comes to this, like having a million pack wrappers. So, oh wait, I remember what you're supposed to do here. We'll do this because I saw one, but. If you want all of them, hit me up. Make me an offer on the pack wrappers. Okay, here we go. Dragoonity Phalanx. We've got Monarch Stormforth, a crush card. Cloning. Giant Red Sea Snake. The Buster, B Buster Drake, I mean. The Dragon's Ravine. And, okay, that was a pretty bad copy pack, I'm not gonna lie. Normally those are really good, and that was not great. This is the first ever, the first ever Legendary Duelist set. And... I opened a full box of this on my channel. It was like 50 bucks, 40 something bucks. And then this shot up in price until of course got Legendary Duel Season 1 reprint. But this set was really expensive. And I, I opened one really early because I like pre-ordered one or something. This was one of the early box openings I had on my channel. One of the first ones we have relinquished. Insect Queen, Crystal Revenge, because my first stuff, okay, Ojamas, back at Ojama Pajama. My first stuff was all Duel Links for like 100, 100 videos. I unlisted most of those, but then I started doing box openings, and that was one of the first box openings we ever did. Okay, this is what? Extreme... What is this called? Extreme Force. That's right. Okay, this one had uh, Syringe, you see? It had uh, the, the Pendulum Dude, and then uh, Saruja, the Skull Dread, and the Pendulum Dude, Electromite. There we go. Yeah, okay, I remember these. These were big at the time. Okay, we didn't get them. They're not super expensive now, but at the time, they were like $70, $80 cards. And uh, I think Saruja might have been a little bit less, but... I ended up pulling one when I went to go get the Lost Art promotion, first Exodia piece they ever released. I bought a couple packs of that and I pulled, uh, I believe it was Electromite, not, was it Saruja? No, it might have been Saruja. I don't know, but it covered, like, doubled the price of my packs. And then I also, of course, got the uh, $30 promo, which was like Overload Fusion, that's good. So good memories back then. Spirit Warriors, I don't think I ever really went crazy on Spirit Warriors. I don't really have a lot of members of this. Gateway the Six, and okay, pretty cool card. Six Samurai, yeah, a lot of Six Samurai. There we go. Four Six Samurais, that's pretty solid. I'll consider that a good pack. Circuit Break, I opened a special edition of this, and my brother recorded it when he was like eight or 10 or something. He was super young. He recorded it, and he recorded it vertically. And that was before TikTok and all this stuff. There was no, look, I'm a boomer. I was around before TikTok and everything. And it was a whole vertical video. So you, you'd still go watch it, it's up there. And we pulled, one of the Borolode guy or whatever, the big one, the $50 card, uh, Metaphys. And I like had no idea how lucky I was getting because I was like, oh man, only one of the Borolode. Like, you know, <laughs> and there was another good card or something. I don't remember, but I was like a little disappointed. No, never mind. That wasn't the first ever Legendary Duels. This is the first one. That was the second one. This was actually the first box opening I did, I think. Not the light edition, the regular edition, but the Legendary Duelist. Just, it's not Joey. It's just Legendary Duelist. That's what it's called. Oh, we got something. Cyber Dark Inferno, an actual foil out of a light edition. Very cool. And then we got the regular version, first edition. We are in 20... Is this 2017? Is this the end of 2017? Did I post this video in 2017? Maybe I did, or maybe it was maybe it was after it came out. I, I didn't get it right away. Okay, that's kind of the, the end of my origin story. Like, before this, we're now going into, like, before I was around, 2017 Megaton. I got some of these out of like, you know, mystery boxes and stuff, but I did not open this when it came out. So we are before Ruxin now. BR, we are in the BR era before Ruxin. We just completed the AR Ruxin. 
or the, not the Ruxin, the AR era, which is the after Ruxin. All right, we have Code of the Duelist. This set is completely terrible. It has Firewall in it. That's really it. I'm not going to pack trick for Firewall. Well, Chalice Guard Dragon, I feel like I pulled that a million times because I've opened so many of these because they're always in mystery packs. All right, OTS5. We're almost to an hour of recording, by the way, and we are only in 2017. <laughs> it's going to be a long video. I feel like they've done more sets recently. Like, only from, I guess, 14 to 17 really is like seven plus years. So... That is kind of a long time in the span of Yu-Gi-Oh, which is only 22. It's about a third. So I wonder if we're a third of the way in total sets or not. All right, this is Battles of Legend, Light's Revenge. Could have the Minerva reprint in here. Let's see. We've got, what is that? Space Time. Wish of Life Force is cool. I don't know why it's a reprint. Was it not banned back then? This is Nero Dustopia. Was Witch not banned in 2017? Because why would they reprint a banned card? Normally they don't do that. Pendulum Evolution. Pevo. Very interesting, very interesting set name. Uh, we have Auto Fusion, and we have a Secret Rare. No, it's not a Secret. Wait. Oh, there's only Supers and Ultras in this set. I forgot. Very weird set. Very weird. There's a lot of weird sets in, set in 16, 17, 18. A lot of weird sets. All right. Cyber Angel from Dimensional Guardians. This is a pretty bad set as well. We'll get through these bad sets pretty soon. That's like a bad Millennium Shield right there and Cypher Bit. He's ciphering the bit. All right, Ash Blossom time. First edition, original print. We've already pulled two Ash Blossom. That could be a sign. I'm just saying. That could be a sign. It could happen right here. Lyralisk. It's crazy how old Lyralisk are. And they kind of got like big later when uh, Synchro Storm came out. Phantom uh, Spiral Dragon. And a super rare Subterror Fiendess. All right, OTS4. Here's a big set. This one has... What's the card? Solemn Morning, I think, and then like a couple of other good cards. Max C is in Astral Ford. All the cards, all the ultis in here were big. So it's kind of an expensive one, kind of hard to find. I'm guessing we don't get anything, but if we were to get an ulti in any of these, this would be a good one to do it in, all right? This would be a good one. Here we go. It is a one day of peace. All right, that's, I mean, it's not a bad card. Duelist Saga. This is a really cool set because it has like the different foiling. I don't really love it necessarily, but it is a cool set. The foiling, I mean. Future Fusion, a little Edison action. Beautiful. d -mock. Okay, good pack. We've got a uh, Full Armored Black, Ray Lancer, Double Fin Shark, and Dual Taining. That felt like a decent pack. I mean, d -mock and a Future Fusion. I am not mad about that. Star Pack Battle Royale. I love Star Pack. One of the best series of sets ever made. Totally. Performer Pell. Giant Hands Guy. And Battle Ball. Raging Tempest, we are 2016, I believe. 2016 is Raging Tempest. This one's a little sticky because it was such an epic set. No. All right, let's go. One, two, three from the back. Miscellaneous Source is a great common. I mean, that's a pretty big one for dinos. Pretty wild card. Okay, Eater of Millions also pretty good. Okay, Zodiac Borboro. And we have a Subterra Behemoth. Super rare. Cool. Well, look, guys, we've already pulled the link for Alistair. Now we just need to pull Alistair. He could be in here. Polymerization alt art. Off to a good start. I don't know what the pack trick is. So let's just go through it. That's a great card. Mark of the Rose. Cool black rose card. Grisail Prison. And a secret rare Omega Summon. So we did get the poly alt art. That's good. That's a very good pull. Obelisk the Tormentor promo pack. So I think we know what's going to be in here. Let's see if we can pull an Obelisk the Tormentor. Oh, we've done it. The gold secret rare Obelisk the Tormentor. Very cool looking card. I probably... No, I won't grade this. OTS tournament pack three. Here we go. Every pack opening. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Hopefully you've enjoyed your popcorn. Maybe you're on your meal too by now. Because, you know, it's a long video. It's a long video. Cypher Soldier. Oh, wait, that was it. Cypher Soldier is cool. Magic Deflector, my voice is already graveling away. But that's okay. We just have to we just have to battle through it. Destiny Signal. We have uh, Abyss Actor. More cards. Dark Lord. And a Secret Rare Abyss Actor. Not the best set. What even was that? The Destiny Soldiers? I actually opened a booster box of that on my channel as well because it was like 40 bucks <laughs> when I had to buy it. Invasion Vengeance. I think we're in... We're still in 16, I think, but we're getting close to 15. We're getting close to 15. I'm not going to pack trick this one. Uh, there are a couple of good cards in this set. That's not the one I was talking about. That's not great. Duelist Pack Rivals of the Pharaoh Light Edition. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, Solid Magician. Cool. Blue Eye Shining. That's cool. <laughs> Some cool old school cards. I mean, 
That is pretty sweet. All right. Now here's the full version. I mean, that was pretty good for a light pack. I mean, some really cool old school cards. We got level eight as well. Cool. Blast held, green gadgets. Dedication, we already got that card. And the Dragon Master Knight. I mean, cool cards. I mean, they're not necessarily high rarity, but they are cool. Mega Pack 2016. So we are still in 2016. Here we go. Let's see what we can pull out of Mega Pack 2016. Melly Awakening Dragon. Not bad. Odd Eyes Vortex and Magic Spectre. Odd Eyes Vortex is not too bad. The Moon Mirror Shield. Also a card that we have pulled. Dragons of Legend Unleashed. I actually have a lot more room now now that the first uh the first row is out of the way. Definitely nice. DR3 does have the Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight, Dark Magician Girl, I mean. And Tripper Mercury. Okay, not that time. The first every pack opening, we pulled the Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, in the Dragons of Legend one pack. Dark Illusion. This has this has a pod card in it, what doesn't it? I'm trying to remember which one it is. Dark Magician cards, obviously. It's Dark Illusion. I throwing these cards together. Trains, Performa Pal. Paleozoic, Didi Savant, Nikola Jokic. We have King Scarlet. Whoa, King Scarlet's. His name is from a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Oh my goodness, I didn't know that. What a legend. Okay, perform a pal inflator. And a spiral super agent. Not bad. Not bad at all. Movie pack, the Ultra Edition. So yeah, I think we hit everything for the movie pack. Uh, I thought this came out in seventeen. Maybe the original didn't. Okay, we have Apple Magician Girl. Not bad. And a little bit of Cubic Crimsonness. I'm trying to stay organized as we go, guys. I'm doing my best, and it is not the easiest. OTS 2. Ultimate Rare. Prediction Ritual. And Gamma Seal. Okay, Gamma Seal is pretty good. Super rare. Not bad at all. Next up is Shining Victories. We we have opened a lot of this set before because we wanted to get the... Uh, this is where we got the misprint... Or not the misprint, the Error Monster Reborn in the wrong set. You guys remember that? Oh, I just Ruxin specialed it. Electro Pendulum. Ultra Ruxin Special. It's the second one of the day, I think. Or maybe it's the first. I can't... Did I do it that last time? I can't remember. Light Pack, a Millennium Pack. This might be, is this the first ever Light Pack? It could be. They kind of did one with like the promotional pack, but that's like a little bit different because it was actually a promotional pack versus a... Just a straight up a light pack. Metal Morph. Millennium Pack, first edition. Here we go. Guilford, the Lightning. Nightmare Wheel. Scapegoat. We have Visor Desk. And a Thousand Dragon Alt Art. I'm going to pull that out because Thousand Dragon Alt Art might be worth something. OTS 1. This one has Ulti Dark Law. Big card. It did just get the uh, Rarity Collection uh, treatment, so it might not be crazy. And there we go. This, I feel like, is actually money for some reason. I don't remember if, if I'm right about that. But Lore of Darkness and Offerings. Not bad cards there. Premium pack. Premium gold. Infinite gold, I should say. Not premium pack. Premium gold. Infinite gold. The goldest of the gold. Here we go. It's premium. It's infinite. We have a secret rare Cosmo Town. We have Monarch Storm Forth. We have... Oh, this used... This was probably huge for the reprint. And then the terminals. I'm guessing it's not crazy anymore, but I bet for the reprint that was really expensive. Wing Raiders first edition. Wing Raiders got some crazy cards in Wing Raiders. I'm just saying. It's a nice reprint set. I'm not going to pack trick because I don't know what it is. Bottomless Edison card. A little bit of Ra Raid Raptors are that old, huh? We have Crane Crane. Oh, Hiccup. Got a rare right there. Swallow's Nest. And a super quantum green layer. How Swallow's Nest was actually money for a little bit. I'm guessing the rare wasn't, but pretty interesting. 2016 is still going. We are almost through. So it looks like from 2016 to now, we've had like a hunt over 175 sets. And then from 2016 to 2022, 2002, we only had 150 sets. How nutty is that? That's actually insane. I'm pretty sure that's right. I didn't realize how... Many more sets have been coming out recently. Bad Luck Blast. Premium Gold, Return of the Bling. First edition, return the bling to us. What bling are we looking for? The bling. Okay, how do you even read that? Okay, if you go like that, you can kind of read it. Nether Soul Dragon. We have another Parallel Twister. Gores for Edison and Solemn Warning for Edison. Wait, Solemn Warning, is it in Edison? Bujing. Bujing's cool. It's If it's not, it's in the next one. What's the next one called? It's uh, the one with Max C, that format. Tengu Plant. Okay, Secret Forces. Secret Forces. This one's been at Walmart, like, kind of recently. Where they had just had a bunch of these, apparently. Abyss Dweller's not bad. And then Ritual Beast Tamer Lara. This is like, the, you know, the new uh, Terminal Revenge version. But that's not the new Terminal Revenge version. That's the old version. Okay. Last pack on the front row. This is Astral Pack 8. I think that means we have 150 packs left for the rest of the opening. I've actually been going at a decent pace, I feel like. 
Okay, Red Eyes Wyvern, that's probably money for Edison. And then lost one turn. I lost one turn. Okay. We're on to the final row. All right, I'm zooming in a little bit for these last ones because we're starting to get to the really old stuff and uh, we don't have to see as many packs anymore. So this is this is pretty nice, I think. So we're gonna zoom in so it's a little bit more a little bit more crisp, a little bit more clear, click, click, clear. We're in 2015, Dimension of Chaos. We're 2002 to 2015 sets is what we have left, 150 packs. Enjoy the long video, everybody, because you know they're not gonna be this long very often unless we're doing some sort of crazy best of five in Wheeled Goats, which can't happen. Uh, DD Necro Slime and especially openings. Oh, our first ulti of the day. Assault Blackwing, Rakiri, the Rain Shower. And guess what, guys? Docs, it was not easy to pull ultis. These weren't like one per box. So this is actually a really rare pull. Very nice. It's, I, I know the price is not crazy. I know you saw the price. It's like 10 bucks or something like that. But our first ulti of the day, out of Dimension of Chaos. I'll take it. I'm happy about that. All right, back row starting off strong, though. High Speed Riders. Starting off real strong. I'm liking that. I don't know the pack trick for high speed riders, so let's just go through it. Silent Psychic Wizard. Hushed. We have Future Glow. We have. Oh! Frame Lord Omega! Is this the original print? Okay. I'm guessing because of all the reprints, it's not crazy, but it's the original print of Omega. Probably one of the better pulls in the set. So we are two for two on the back row. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Now 2015 Mega 10. Here we go. Let's just no pack trick. Let's just go through it. We got level lifter. We have Sylvan, Sage Qua, Ziang Zing Path, and Jinzo Jector. Those are our foils. Pretty cool. Jinzo Jector. Okay, so that one wasn't a crazy hit or anything, but we're off to a good start. Clash Rebellion. There is one card I think that I can really think of that would be a really great pull. Red Eye Slayer Metal Dragon. Ghost Rare. Never pulled on the channel. This would be a great time to do it. Just saying. It'd be a great time to do it. Would it not? I think it's flippity flop, but you know what? I'm just going to go for it. Let's just let it be. Ignite Paladin. Come on, guys. Camel Lump. Ex Extinction on schedule. Kika Tao. Balance of Judgment. Toon Cyber's not bad. And the Perform Age still its launcher, so no Ghost Rare. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys think we will pull a Ghost Rare in this video or not? Let me know if we will. Toon Kingdom out of here would be fantastic. I don't know if it's at the front. It's not. Good. I would love to pull a ghost shirt in this opening. It'd be great. We have Prediction. We have Aqua Actress Guppy. Come on, Toon Kingdom. Give us a little bit. Oh, I saw the spell card. Claw of Eremos is not a bad one, though, because it's a dragon card. So that's pretty decent. Toon Kingdom would have been sick. I have a PSA 10 on one of those because it's a really pretty card. Duel or uh, Battle Cities. This, I feel like this could have had a light pack, but I maybe it doesn't. I'm not really gonna like, you know, light packs or light packs. They're just like a, another version of the same set. So if we don't have it, we don't have it. But it was cool to have them in here. Flute of Summoning Rocket Warrior, Legendary Fisherman, and the Flute of Summoning the Dragon. Start back Arc V. The Arcus of V's. There is the Shatter Foil, which is better than the other ones, I think. Edge of Sabres and Edge of Sabres is a good card. All right, these little packs just go by so fast. Astral Pack 7, another little pack. It is Dragon's Ravine. Is, wait, is that. That's it. Okay, Dragon's Ravine, super. I think that's guaranteed. Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, cool. Cross Souls First Edition. I have pulled this Ghost Rare before, but guess what? That doesn't mean that I don't want another one. I'd be glad to have another one, guys. Three should be good on this. This is a core set. It's never worse than three. It's never more than three on a course, or less than three, I should say. UA Penalty Box. We have uh, Suture, Suture, Suture Rebirth. I don't know what that means. Harpy Harpist, good card. Good card, but it has had a reprint, I think. I'm sure it has, because we're in 2014 at this point, I think. World Superstars. We have once pulled... Uh, what Did we pull the Blue Eyes in, in the first time we opened this? Okay. Oh! Number F-Zero Utopic, Utopic Future is a pretty cool one, actually. That's not a bad one to get. And any other cool ones? Heavy F Knight of the Flame. This was a Duel Links card in the Fire Deck. Oh, man. That's Duel Links nostalgia right there. It's crazy you can have nostalgia for Duel Links, because it's that old now. Secrets of Eternity, the other time I opened this the other day, I shouted out Farfa and we pulled a Farfa, so who knows if that'll happen, but I can't really shout him out anymore after he exodied me like three times, so <laughs> you missed that, you gotta check that out. That was a pretty crazy one, Mushroom Man number two made an appearance. Mischief, we have uh, Gotham's and da -da -da Swartzman. Okay, what is next? Astral Pack through six, not three. He was like, yeah, we didn't miss four, because that's like, you know, a big one. I've already mentioned that. 
When we get Max C, okay, we got a White Dragon wy win bu Wyvern Buster. Okay, King of the Skull Servants and Royal Command. Oh yeah, this is one I've actually never opened because we did the Ever Pack opening. I didn't even know about this pack, so this is one we missed. The Noble Knight of the Round Table Power Up Pack. And it might always be the same cards because I think I've seen Torrential a lot. Effect Veiler and then Forbidden Lance. That's three really good cards. That is three really good cards in their own right. So that's a pretty sick. If you, let me know. You guys like the Platinum Rarity or not? I know a lot of people hate it. I honestly kind of like it. They just, they don't really age well is kind of the problem. New Challengers. There is a Ghost Rare in here. So uh, I wouldn't mind pulling it because I've never pulled that one, I don't think. Toy Vendor. Fluffle Cat. UA Power Jersey. Should All Hound. We have uh, Fright for Bear. And Fist. First of the First of the Dragons? The original Dragon? The OG before the Blue Eyes? That's crazy. Legendary Collection 5Ds, first edition. What shall we pull? Will we get a Signer Dragon in common? Because that can happen in here. Junk Bearish. TG Power Guardians, we have a rare. Blackwing Bore the Spear is not bad. Fiendish Chain Secret, that's actually probably big money. Shooting Star Dragon, same thing, is probably pretty good. And Road Warrior, so that was a pretty solid pack if you ask me. I wonder what our total is. You guys will see our total on the screen as we go, but I feel like we're doing okay. Um... There's nothing, there hasn't been anything like massive yet. That's like a hundred dollars, you know, but we have had a lot of good pulls. Oh yeah, we side scroll these. Let's side scroll these. Oh, the first appearance of a Ruxin special card, Madolce. Chicolates, chicka chicolates. I got to pull that one out. Sylvan, Gauntlet Launcher, Mega Phantom Beast, Draco Sack. Okay. And Talia, Princess of Cherry Blossoms. I think that's a decent card as well. Why does that feel weird? It's got a weird texture on that one. Okay. Pretty good pack out of Chicolante, so you can't really beat that. What else we got? Duelist Alliance First Edition. Never pulled this Ghost Rare either. I wouldn't mind pulling the cover card ulti either. That'd be pretty sick. It's not crazy expensive, but it would be sick. The Ghost Rare would be real nice. Heroic. No, not Heroic. Gaia, the Midnight Sun. Should all Hedgehog. A Construct ulti would be awesome. We have a Panzer Dragon. And Battle Guard Howling. So we are on to the point where it is not guaranteed foil. So we might dud a lot of these. Battle Bag Monster League. I have opened many of these out of mystery boxes in my day. Early 2017 or late 2017 is what I was opening. Early 2018. Going to Chick-fil-A. Okay, for Ben Lance, that's a good pull. Going to Chick-fil-A. Then I, I, was, I wasn't even as much of a Chick-fil-A hater back then, I guess. But go to Chick-fil-A. Well, go to Walmart. Get your mystery box. Go to Chick-fil-A. Get your food. Open up your mystery box while you're eating. Or when you're done, whatever. It was fun. It was fun. Okay, this is tournament pack five. Astro pack five, I should say. And Bajingi Turtle. The next the next one of those is going to be potential max D. Super starter power up pack. Here we go. The super starter, the power up pack. I think this is always the same. Dark hole. Did you warrior lady called on it? A lot of great cards in here. Karaz the light monarch's pretty good. So now we have to do power up pack. Is this A? Yeah, this is A right there. So this one will have like MST or something. I can't remember. Oh, no, Odd Eyes. It's way worse than Dark Hole. <laughs> it's brutal. You get swords, you get Rhoda. I guess Sacred Crane's not horrible. In some context, if you're playing Chaos and that's all you have. <laughs> Primal Origin first dead. 2013? Are we in? Is it Primal Origin 2013? It might be 2014. Let's go. Ghost Rare ulti, ulti Rare Potential. Ulti Rare. Sounds weird. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Let's just say it. See what it sounds like. And it's out of weird. Gearbox number 103 and Ghost Trick Knight. Nothing in that one. Dragons of Legend. We've had a big pull in the every pack opening on one of these before. Dragons of Legend. Here we go. Here we go. Super rare. Final Fusion. Black Wing Revenge. Soul Charge. And Fire Hand. Secret rare. Fire Hands. Those are classics. Those are old school. They're kind of old schooly cards. Premium Gold First Edition. What shall we pull? Okay, Eclipse Wyvern. I kind of messed that back up. Eclipse Wyvern. Chronomaly, we have number 31, a Torrential again, second time pulling that, and a Des Volstgolf, another cool gold card. Star Pack 2014, first edition. Star Pack 2014. The Mat, the Maat, the Maat. Number seven, the A Iron. Okay, that was not that great. All right, this is great though. I don't know if it'll be at the front or not, but if we get an Ulti Max C in here, this will be the, one of the craziest pulls we've ever had. It might be right at the front, so prepare right now. It could be right here. No, nope. oh, the suspense and Astro Pack four. Let's just slip it over. Okay, didn't didn't spoil it yet. 
War of Endurance number two. And a soul drain. Okay. We had our hopes up for a second that it would be maxi. It didn't happen. That's okay. Legacy of the Valiant first edition. Here we go, everybody. Send us a little luck in the comments. Hopefully you're enjoying the long video. The very long video. Very long. We got a lot of big packs to be opened as we go. Get excited for LOB first edition. You know, all that different stuff. Retro pack, retro pack two, the originals. Stardust, you know, first edition, Duelist Genesis, all that different stuff is coming up. War of the Giants. Uh, what is this called? Round two, War of the Giants. Okay. This is like the big version of the pack. I We did the battle with Rhyme Style the other day, opening the regular packs. That was pretty fun. Deep Sweeper, we have Hypnocorn. Is that a super? It is. Chowlin, Big Tufts Mammoth. A lot of supers in here. Oh my goodness. An ultra rare Dragoon Knight. That's a lot of foils. Cyber Raider. Nothing too crazy in that one. I guess we're just opening the big one. Okay, Shadow Specters first edition. Shadow Specters, give us that Divine Dragon Knight Felgrand, please. Ulti would be cool because I do like the look of an ulti. Ghost Rare would be even better. Let's see. I cannot pull these cards. Tantan. Here we go. Here we go. Ghost Trick Mommy. Mythic Tree Dragon. Vivid Knight. And Malaseverus Knife. The knife might cut ya. Legendary Collection Joey's World. 2013 is what we're in right now still. I think Joey's World's 2013. Guilford the Lightning. I don't know if you can pack trick this. You probably can do a couple cards, but I'm just going to go. Axe Raider Rocks and Special. Horn of Heaven has returned. Torrential number three. Man, this opening loves Torrential. Dark World Dealings number two. We've pulled a couple of those. Fiber Jar. If you want to play a little old school. Old, old school Fiber Jar. Okay, keep it going. Astral Pack three. We are well into this video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. It's been a fun opening so far. I was really hoping to have something big. So hopefully we can get one big card, right? One big card. Okay, this one's turned around. See, half of them are turned around to half of them aren't. You can't keep up with the Astral Packs and the uh, originals. Oh my goodness, they really wanted you to play a little Pac-Man right there. Pull that out for my goat box. Maybe I'll make a Pac-Man deck at some point. Judgment of the Light, first edition. Is this 13? Chicolate's potential. Star Eater potential. Some cool stuff in here. Let's see what we can get. We'll do three. Kooji Kaji, Kooji Kaji, Koo. We have Cold Wing. needs to be big. Intercept Tomato, Star Seraph. Stop the fence, Bujinki Turtle. Googly Eyes, we have a big name Archfiend and XC's Agent. No guarantee foils is hurting right now. We're not getting anything. Number Hunter's first edition. Okay, Resurrection of Chakra. That's like the art on that TP card, isn't it? Zubaba Knight. Chronomaly, we have Mech Equipped and Coach King Giant Trainer. Coach King Giant Trainer. War okay, here's War of Giants. I guess this one came out first, the original one. This is the one we opened up the other day out of the blisters. Kunai with chain. What is this? What is this reference? Let's go. Shattered Axe. That's very cool with the shatter foil. Kind of shatter foil, like whatever that's called. Memory of an adversary. I use that against Rhyme. Solar Wind Jam. Okay. Now we have, ooh, Lord of Tachyon Galaxy. We're still in 2013, aren't we? So I'm trying not to give myself a uh, hangnail here opening all these packs. You know, trying to keep these packs nice. But it might happen. Ghost Rare Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. Three from the back should be good. Let's go. Uh, Tadakawa Knight. Gagaga -ga -ga Wind. Ruxin Special. Memory Loss. Brotherhood. The Little Baby Dragon. Aurora Wing. XEs. And a Mecha Phantom Beast Mega Raptor. Not guaranteed foil, so I'll take it. Not great, but not a guaranteed foil, so it's something. Now we have Super Starter Power Up Pack B. We've got an A coming right after this. The greenest pack you will ever see. Uh, these came in like some sort of product is just like a bonus pack to like give you they're kind of like a structure deck they give you the same thing they're like those other ones we opened earlier that one's kind of hard to open magic cylinders in here that's cool for go okay super starter power up pack a oh my gosh these do not rip without destroying them okay utopia ray v not victory just v swords of revealing light they love to give you swords of revealing light because i mean it is a pretty ridiculous card i mean it's pretty insane back then Let's see about Hidden Arsenal 7. Hidden Arsenal's not the craziest sets either, but there's potential of some stuff maybe. Okay, not too crazy in that one. Let's see what's next. We have Astral Pack 2. So more ulti potential. We have not gotten an ulti out of an Astral Pack yet or any of those. Spiritual Water Art AOA, Instant Fusion, and Hysteric Party. Star Pack 2013. Man, there, there are eras where there were just some bad sets all in a row. It's just like bad, 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 bad. Not great sets. Here we go. One for one. Gandora and Zubaba Knight. The Zubaba Knight has returned. One for one is a pretty good card, so I'll pull that out. 
Back to our core set, Cosmo Blazer. I don't think I've ever pulled this Ghost Shirt either. So this would be nice to pull this. The, what is this one called? Heart Earth Dragon or something? Spike Shield with Chain? Yeah, I totally forgot how that worked the other day. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, Infernal Flame Vixen. And a number 53, Heart Earth. So not a Heart Earth Dragon, but we got a Heart Earth. So that's pretty cool to get an Ultra. Good to break our streak of kind of, you know, pretty bad recently. Astro Pack 3. Flame Belt Fire Dog, okay. And Hyena. Hyena was getting reprinted. Wow, that's that's pretty rough. Abyss Rising. We're in 12, I think, now. We're in 2012. Old school. Here we go. One, two, three from the back is what we're going to do. That's the most we need to do. Snow Dragon, Medulce, the Croissant, Bull Blader. Bull Blader is a crazy card. We found that out the other day. Uh, uh, a Cha Cha. We have uh, Umino Tauros and a Magimo. Magmo. Not too crazy on that one. Oh, here's a big one. Legendary Collection 3, Yugi's World. This one. Could have the Dark Magician girl, which is like a really expensive card, like weirdly expensive. First edition secret out of here. These are pretty hard to find. These packs are pretty expensive. So we could get Dark Magician girl. It'd be pretty cool. Just throwing it out there. We'll probably get Torrential Tribute. I'm just throwing that out there. We're going to get level eight common in here. It's pretty expensive. Uh, Dino Worm. That's cool. Mirror Force. Not Torrential. Okay. Fissure. Those are all. Okay. Good go cards. Momonga and Mag Magic Formula. I'll take that. That is a pretty good pack for what I would like. Return of the Duelist, we have pulled this ghost twice or three times. I can't remember. It's a lot. It is a lot. So we'll probably pull this one. This would be the one ghost we pull. <laughs> Here we go. Three from the buck. Overlay region, ninjutsu. Heroic challenger, compulsory, compulsory escape device, not evacuation. Catapult, Bapple. Sis under. And an Shea lesson. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Hidden arsenal, XCs. The XC's hitting Arsenal. We have Digusto and a bunch of other stuff. That's not that crazy. Okay, if you guys voted we would get a Ghost Rare in this video, you are correct because guaranteed Ghost Rare in here. Ghost from the Past, or Ghost, not Ghost from the Past, Gold Series Haunted Mine, which is a Ghost Rare set and a Gold Rare set. Okay, try not to spoil it. So Cliff, Pyramid Turtle. Okay, some of these I'm going to be pulling out for Edison or Goat Formats, Tiki Soul. Spellbook, we gotta get to the end without spoiling it. Gurnia, Red Ogre, Lady in White. Hidden Spellbook's pretty pretty money, I think. Is it the first card? It might be. If it's, this is an effect monster, that might be Gores. Okay, it's not Gores because it's not at the beginning. Solemn Judgment? No, okay, it's, it's gonna be the last one, perfect. Pretty good gold rares, actually. We got the Ritual, okay, not great, not great. Hero to Perfection. Ghost Rare has been pulled, you know, guaranteed, but it's still very cool. A lot of scuffing on that artwork, it looks like. Is that scuffing or is that the art? Looks like scuffing, I think. I'm, it's kind of weird. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, let's keep it going. There was our Ghost Rare. Hopefully we get another one, but uh, we are running out of Ghost Rare packs. We're on a Turbo Pack, by the way. Turbo Pack 8. I think this is where you get... No, what is in Turbo Pack 8? Yeah, Lumina is, is Champion Pack 8. Well, it looks like we're not getting anything anyway. We got an alligator sword. Alligator sword is pretty cool, but not overly crazy. Battle pack, Epic Dawn. Little battle pack, the beginning. Is this battle pack one, I guess? The Epic Dawn. First edition. Okay, Possess Dark Soul. King Tiger Wang. A little goat card. Nice. Zolga, Foxfire, and Mysterious Guard. Galactic Overlord. I would still love to pull this coaster as well. An ulti, anything like that would be really cool. One, two, three from the back. These cards look weird on the back. They're so yellow. That's strange. Okay. Bouncer Guard. Bootin. Aquamira Cycle. Hieratic Dragon. Berserk Scales. Mini Guts. Hieratic Dragon of Tefnuit. And Hieratic Seal of the Sun Dragon Overlord. Okay, Hieratics, they are the theme of that set, so it makes sense. All right, still a lot of packs left. Raw Yellow Mega Pack. We're not even into the uh, 2000s yet. We're on 2010 still. Mega Pack, Raw Yellow. Let's see. Stratos, great card. We'll take that. Elementorial Flame Wing, man. Not bad. Dimension All Prison. Dimension All Prison. This is a good one. That used to be 30 bucks. Probably not anymore, but still good. Malicious. That's a great pack. And Carbuncle, really good pack right there. Goes or Gozuki's or Mizuki, I should say, not Gozuki. That's a really, really, really good pack. That's a lot of value. We will take that Order of Chaos. I always want to think this one's in 2013, but it's actually not. 
It's 20, I think, are we still in 2012? Or is it 2011 even? Sweet corn, a little sweet corn. Ghost Rare Time, can we get the number C47 Utopia Ray Victory or something? Is it 47? I can't remember what number it is. Uh, Dark Lawn, Chalin. Was there a rare in there? It was at the very beginning. Okay, interesting. All right, Turbo Pack Booster 7. Come on, one of these, one of these tournament packs have something. Like one of them. Man, those open weird. Okay, uh, Tail Swipe. Herald of the Orange Light. I mean, that's good, but it's not what I meant by something. I'm in a foil of some kind that is not guaranteed. Evil Swarm. Hidden Arsenal Steel Swarm Invasion. There we go. We are being invaded by the Vylon Sigma. And not much else is too crazy. Photon Shockwave. They were very focused on archetypes. It was like they never had anything else. Photon Shockwave. I have never pulled the first edition version as a ghost rare. The uh, Galaxy has Photon Dragon. So if we can do that now, I would not be mad. Watt Cobra's in Malfunction. Ego Boost. You guys know where I pulled the Unlimited, though. Oh, Naturium Aaron. Okay, another dud. That's okay. Because we have Legendary Collection, too. The Dual Academy years. You will not dud. You will be amazing. And with his cats. Miracle Kids. Burst Return. Cyber Dragon. That's a good one to see. Original art. Cyber End Dragon. Another good one to see. And DD Crow. That's a heck of a pack right there. These like reprint packs are really hitting. Like we're getting a lot of great pulls. It's the core sets that are really tough on us so far. Generation Force, one of my favorite Ghost Rares and Ultimate Rares is the number 17 Leviathan Dragon. I think it looks really good. Let's see if we can pull it out right now in the 250k special. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Future Glow. I'm certainly having fun cracking all these packs. This is why we just pulled a cr cracking card. Okay. And Pokey Draco. Okay, guys. If you guys have watched all the 250k videos, you haven't yet. You might want to go watch the other ones, you know, because Turbo Pack 6 might have happened and something big might have happened. But... Let's just do it again. Let's just do it again. Okay, rare at the front. So I think, uh, yeah, we didn't do it again, but that's okay. I'm, I'm still okay with the last time. World Championship 2011. Okay, these will be some of the biggest cards we pull because these are like really expensive super rares. Uh, we want the dra alligator sword, the, the guy that, and then the one that fuses with baby dragon. We want that one too. Only two cards in here. So here we go. The obese marmon of nefariousness. And a meteor, meteor Dragon's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Meteor Dragon. These are pretty expensive, actually. They do have the thing on the back. But these cards, uh, I think, are just like were given out at 2011 World Championship or something like that. So they are very, very difficult to get. All right, let's keep it going. Gold Series 4. Big old pack right here. This is the one that comes in the pyramid. The, uh, the triangle packaging, which is pretty absurd, to be honest. It had like a... It had a mat in there. It was weird. And then there's no, like, ghost or anything. So it's just three gold rares. Raikou's good. And a Doom Cal, actually. That was a pretty good three gold rares. I'm not going to lie. Radiant Gerald. That's a secret rare in uh, well, some set. Injection Fairy Lily for Goat. It's good. Skull Dice. Goddess of Wind Prometheus. Toon Dark Magician Girls. Pretty cool. Eternal Drought. Millennium Shield. The alt art. The ugly art, to be honest. Uh, Wicked Worm Beast. Recurring Nightmare. Lich Lord. Toon World. The alternate art's pretty cool. Magic Formula, Sage of Stone, White Knight Dragon, Eradicating Aerosol, and the Sage of the Sky. Okay, this, I mean, the, the last few packs, let's just, let's lay them out a little bit like this, so you guys can start seeing them a little bit more. We have Duelist Pack Crow, First Ed. Duelist Pack Crow, can you give us something Blackwing related? I'm guessing you can. There we go, already, already have. I'm guessing every card in here. Black, okay, Arm Wing is good. And level returner. Extreme victory. We are officially into the 5Ds era. 5Ds GX and original series are all we have left. So we're into like some of the parts you guys are probably most excited about. What will we pull? Will we pull a tour guide? Will we pull a ghost rare junk berserker? Either one would be really fantastic for this opening. Fortissimo, Jet Falcon, Power of Adapter, Little Rare, and Reboot. Not that time. Not so fast. Can we get the Trishula? Even though there there was a bigger card for a while. I don't know if it's still bigger, but it was like crazy money. Right off the bat, Neo Flambell Saber Secrets. And I'm guessing none of these are too crazy. The Churia Ragweed. All right, Turbo Pack. Come on. One of these one of these tournament packs have something good. It's just so hard to get an unweighed tournament pack. You know, it's like very unlikely, but if we could just get one, it'd be cool, mind you. 
Torrential Tribute. That's like number four of Torrential Tribute. Things have been everywhere. Okay. Movie Pack. Bonds Beyond Time or whatever this thing's called. Is that what it's called? Bonds Beyond Time Movie Pack. That's right. Okay. These are all the same, I think. Yeah. All the Malefics. Very cool. Oh, actually, not all. There's some of the Malefics. Okay. Cool. Storm of Ragnarok. Odin time. We did finally eventually pull the Odin. It took a long time, but we eventually pulled it. Let's see if we can do it again. It's been a while since that happened, though, so I'd be okay to do it again. Well, also Max C potential. We didn't get the ulti, but we could get the secret. That'd be cool. I've pulled a Max C secret in a long time. Stardust Phantom and Bristow. So we're not going to pull anything in that pack, actually. Duelist pack, you say. Can you turn this around, you say? You say you can turn this around, huh? You say you can turn this around. Okay, that's bad. You say. What do you say, you say, shield? I used power frame the other day. Damage Eater, uh, Double Cyclone. We are onto some weird packs. All right, Hidden Arsenal 3. Let's get rid of these Hidden Arsenal out of the way. They're not that crazy. Let's see what this is. Fabled Leviathan. The Great Leviathan. I don't think that's the one he was talking about, but still. Star Strike Blast. Last time we opened one of these in the every pack opening, we pulled a Glow Up Ball Multi. So that could be pretty cool if we did that again. Could be pretty cool. All right. Here we go. One, two, three from the back. There are big cards in here. I've never pulled a star, shooting star dragon, I think. What's it called? Ghost Rare. Ulti I would take as well. I wouldn't be mad about that. Oh, a secret. So we did get something. Gen X ally Duradark, which it's Gen X, so it's not going to be that good. But a secret rare shooting? Man, what's up with uh, Star Strike Blast like actually giving us stuff? Another nice pull. That's the one of the better pulls we've had in terms of like rarity out of a certain set. So that's not bad. Turbo 4. I don't remember what you can get out of here. I think maybe quick draw, maybe? Does that have an ulti? I can't remember. Moki Moki and Psychic Commander. Moki Moki's cool. That's the second king of the Skull Servants as well. We're in 2011 right now. Oh, it's only 2011. Duelist Revolution First Edition. Yes, First Edition. Feck Veiler ulti. Solemn Morning ulti. Secret Rare Pot of Awesome. I mean, there's some really good stuff that we could get. Let's just pull one of those. I'd be really happy. Even if it wasn't the ulti or secret version, or the low, if it was just the lower end version, my mole. Rux and special scrap chimera is not guaranteed, and that's actually a good card. To this day, it's still pretty good and different things. So, not bad. And we are on to another world championship back 2010. But these are all rares, all rares in this set. So not quite as good as 2011, but there are some good rares you can get. Muyan Curry. And superconductor tyrant superconductor tyrant is not great because it has the. Uh, has that just structure deck print. Hidden Arsenal 2. We might be getting close to 20. No, we are in 2010. We just opened a 2010 back. Probably the end of 2010 because there's a world championship. Secret Rare Worm Queen. The Queen of Worms. And Geomancer. Okay. Back to a Turbo Pack. Turbo Pack 3. We're almost done with Turbo Pack. This is wild. Almost done with Turbo Pack. It feels like, you know, you don't really pull anything because if you don't get a foil, it feels kind of weird. Nobleman and DD Crow is not bad. Saber Slash. There are good cards in there. Gold Series 3, another Mega Pack. They've been good to us so far. Smashing Ground's another great card that I will not be mad about. Judgment Dragon and Blackwing Armor Master. I'm okay with all those. That's pretty good. Amazon of Swordswoman. Goblin Zombie, also pretty good. These are a little warped. Shura's not bad. Uh, Kalut, Black Whirlwind. Man, these are all bent, though. It's kind of a problem. They're going to have to be flattened out at some point. Nova Summoner, a little Edison, Bora. Okay, not a bad pack at all. Just a little bent, unfortunately. Speaking of Black Wings, the Shining Darkness, the Black Wing Dragon Ghost Rare could appear right now. Let's do it. One, two, three, three, three. Let's do three. It needs to be the floppity flip. I haven't been doing that, and that's what it seemed like it needed to be. Morphtronic Blossom. Let's get something big right here. Can we get an ulti? Can we get a ghost? Even a secret or ultra would be cool. Gen X Searcher. And a Bird of Roses. Super rare. Okay. Can't complain about any foils we get on old school packs. That's not too bad. Okay. Duels Pack Kaiba. This is not first edition. Does he have the first edition version? I can't remember. I thought I checked all these. So this might just be the reprint version. There is a first set version. I'm not sure if we have that. We might not have it. Polymerization. White Stone of Legend. That's cool. Super rare. First super of this set. Or first super of that card. The original came out in Crossroads of Chaos. No, there it is. Okay, we do have it. Okay. Yeah, because I was like, 
I would have thought about that when we went through it, surely. Duelist Pack Kyber First Edition. This is like a Euro pack. There is ultis in here. Chaos Emperor Dragon. Poggers of Greed. I would love Poggers of Greed. That'd be sweet. Let's pogger it up. We have Hitatsumi Giants. Familiar Knight. And Kaiser. Glider. Not this time. Absolute Power Force. We're definitely in 2009 now. Wait, no, no, we're not. We're in 2010. Because Kaiba 2010. Yeah, this is 2010. Okay, we're still in 2010. We haven't crossed over just yet. Three from the back, floppity flip, flippity flop, whatever you want to call it. We have the suppe, suppe. <laughs> that, so that was a retrain. Interesting. Shredder from Ninja Turtles. Gundari. And Informer Spider. All right. The last packs are where they're thinning out. That's for sure. Duelist pack, you say. Is this you say two? Yeah, you say two. Okay, we got one of those in the back. Level leader. Advanced draw. Road synchron. Quick draw synchron is pretty good. And silver wing. All right, turbo pack two. Which one has? Okay, this was cracked. Okay, this is not making me feel good. <laughs> These were probably all cracked from graded packs, which means they're probably light, but they're probably light anyway, no matter where you get them from when it comes to the tournament packs. So, uh, okay, reflect powder. That's pretty good. But yeah, knowing that, not great. Not necessarily great. But there's really nowhere to get them. First edition, Stardust Overdrive. Though, somebody actually did message me the other day, and they pulled a Genzo out of a uh, graded pack. So, sometimes they can be, they can have cards in them. One, two, three. Upside down card. First edition, baby. Stardust Overdrive, upside down, please. If you give us the Ghost Rare, every pack opening. Okay, Swap Frog's good. That would be one of the biggest pulls we've ever had. Reptilian Gorgon. Faustian Bargain, Wolf and Sheep's Clothing, Ritual of Grace, Bending Destiny, Attack Pheromones, Dark Rabbit, come on. Okay. Oh, it's a super. It is a super, though. It's first edition super. I got excited, but, you know, it's better than nothing. We cannot complain when we're getting foils and non guaranteed packs. Hidden Arsenal. I feel like we're getting an okay amount of foils. We're just not getting, like, anything too massive yet. I'm hoping we do at some point. X Saber Air Bomb is actually a good card. And uh, the rest of them, not too crazy. Angel Prophecy, you want to bless us with a Ghost Rare First Edition? I wouldn't be mad. I would not be mad. I promise I wouldn't. I promise I wouldn't. Core Blaster. Spirit Burner, Battle Teleportation, White Potent, Aegis, Advanced Draw, Core Reinforcement, and a Fishborg Blaster. Not a bad card, but not too great either. Turbo Pack 1. This one, I think, has Judgment Dragon potential. That's big. Also cracked. Not great. Not great. Not great. But, you know, it's really tough to get those. So, I don't really know. I probably would have had to do the same thing if I gathered them myself. Right, kill and crush card. That's actually a pretty cool duo right there. Okay, Retro Pack 2. Not reprinted just yet. I mean, it might happen, but... Blue Eyes Shiny Dragon potential. That would obviously be the number one choice for me. I love the Blue Shining. I've already pulled it, and I would still love to pull it again. Dragon Master Knight would be a close second. It'd be pretty good. Okay, how many cards? I'm just going to do three. Three should be fine. Nobleman of Crossout. That's a great card. Mask of Restrict. Opticlops. Lightning Blade, Insect Imitation. Gravekeeper Spy, another good goat card. Beta the Magnet Warrior. Oh, okay, Beta the Magnet Warrior. A couple goat cards out of there. Not awesome. Okay, here's the reprint, Yugi. Yugi. The Unlimited. Brain Control. Not bad. King's Knight. Poly Alt Art again. That's two Alt Art Polys. Okay. I didn't realize they printed the Alt Art Poly so much. Okay. The first edition. The first edition Alt Art Poly would be cool. Dark Paladin would be cool. Dark Magician Girl. Mirror Force. All those are in here. No ultis, unfortunately. They did it dirty on Yugi. Unfortunately. Card of Sanctity. Okay. Card of Sanctity, and it's not the common version worth a million dollars. Raging Battle First Edition, 2009 still. Power Tool, I feel like I pulled a First Ed Power Tool. No, 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 I pulled an Unlimited Power Tool. I pulled a First Ed Ulti Power Tool, though. Let's pull one right here, then. Ghost Rare. Bone Temple Block. Attack the Corner Rad, Black Whirlwind, GB Hunter, Shura, Morphtronic Bond. We have an Iron Core. And a junk box. All right. Gold Series 2009. Looking for a big pull still. Gold Series 2009, I don't think that's a big, big pull, but there's some cool cards in here. Ryza is definitely cool. 
Death Volskalf and Bob Strapple. I'm pretty sure we pulled Death Volskalf in the first one we ever did. Because I couldn't ever find a price on it originally. Mobius, that's cool. Giant Trunade. Grandmark, there are a lot of Monarchs in here. Compulse. Treeborn is good. You can play a whole Monarch deck out of here. You basically can. That's pretty crazy. Plus, I've already mentioned this every time we open this, but 2009 has the best looking gold rares ever. Like, they should just bring these back. Like, everybody loves these. They look beautiful. They're so shiny. Crimson Crisis. Still 2009, I believe. Never pulled the Red Dragon Arch Venus Salt Mode Ghost Rare. Now would be a perfect time. It would be. I'm just saying. Flippity flop, floppity flip. I'm not 100% sure, but maybe. Fake Explosion. Flip flop frog. Telekinetic power. Morphtronic Rusty Engine. Half or nothing. Assault Overload. Flying Fortress. And Submarine Frog. Okay. Duels pack Yusei, number one. Is there are three Yusei packs for some reason. Why does Yusei get three and no one else does? Yusei gets three. Yugi gets one. Kaiba gets one. J Jaden gets one. It's crazy. Stardust super rare. Let's go. Out of Yusei one. Okay, Stardust Dragon. Is that a sign of things to come in the Duels Genesis? Let's hope so. That's a really good pull. Super rare. Very nice. That's something to get excited about. Now let's get Illumina. That would be something to get excited about as well. Wouldn't be the first time I've pulled it, but it would be the first time I've pulled it for myself. Nope, not this time. The Great Shogun. And, oh, Royal Oppression. That might be like a $10 common if it still is. We'll pull that one out, of course. Okay, here we go. Here's probably our best pack. This is like a $500 pack or something. Even maybe a thousand. I don't know. Guaranteed to have all the same stuff in it. But it has all these awesome manga art ones or man is it manga art i don't know whatever whatever it is i think it's manga art but here we go you don't get to open these every day guaranteed same pulls but has the really cool set in here the blue eyes white dragon i'm gonna sleeve all these individually all these look i don't probably want to grade these oh centering looks oh the corner the corner the centering was actually good that's brutal hopefully not the corner on all of them okay red eyes you look a lot better. You may or may not be getting graded. You probably are getting graded. I'm going to put you over there. Blue Eyes, unfortunately, has that ding on it. Summon Skull. We got to appreciate all these because they are some of the coolest cards you're ever going to see. Centering is way off on the Summon Skull, so you're not going to be graded. Sadly, Celtic Guardian. Beautiful card. Centering is better on that one. Maybe you could have squeaked by. The Gayateno Megami. Centering is good. Yeah, those look pretty good. Buster Blader. I mean, it's really cool artwork. A little bit of a something right there, but centering's good. Genzo. I mean, check out that Gen. It's hard to beat the regular Genzo art, but somehow this is like almost as good. Centering is a little push, push left. That's okay. And then, of course, Shiba Warrior. I believe this was after Kazuki Takahashi's dog. So RIP Kazuki Takahashi, sad time since the last every pack opening, he passed away with a heroic act, you know, where he was trying to save someone from drowning. I think he did save them, but he wasn't able to um, save himself, unfortunately, which is really sad because obviously I didn't really talk about when it happened, but obviously, you know, he made Yu-Gi-Oh for all of us and none of this would happen without him. So seeing that card is really sad because it just brings back all the memories of like the things that he did. So shout out him in the comments because, you know, RIP. Send him some love, send his family some love. He made this game for all of us. Okay, Dark Legends, let's keep going. That a little bit of a sad, I got a little sad there actually. <laughs> wasn't expecting, wasn't expecting that, I got a little emotional, okay. Dark Legends, I mean, it was a, it's a good thing to get emotional about. It was a great, great, great dude. Ma Mango, we have Ma Mother Grizzly. Upside down barrel dragon. Let's see if we can get a piece of Exodia. No piece of Exodia, are you kidding me? No piece of Exodia. All right, Dark Legends, which is basically our, you know, new retro pack reprint, okay. Crossroads of Chaos, some of the biggest packs we have. Plague Spreader could be in here. That would be great because I could add it to my Edison deck because I need a first add ulti. Black Rose in every form. You guys know this Duelist Genesis pack keeps falling down because it really wants to be opened. I'm nervous about this pack. Please bless us with a Ghost Rare Black Rose Dragon. An ulti, I would be ecstatic. I would not be mad about an ulti either. I'm not going to really mess with this. I'm going to do three from the back. Morphtronic, we have Clocking. Doppelganger, Fragrant Storm, Confusion Chaff, Omega Goggles, Morphtronic Magnon, Paralyzing Jane, and Horizon. That's super rare. Not guaranteed, so I guess it's not bad. Ah, oh, man. We're so close. So close. It's a foil, so we can't really complain. 
Now we go into the Duelist Genesis. Hey, look, if we're saving it all for this, we want to get the ghost right here. That's fine. There's a lot of really good pulls in here. So anything great. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna say what I want because I know there's so many good pulls that we could get. One, two, three. Psy Station, Silent Strider, Space Gate, Tricky Spell Form, Psychic Commander, Dr. Cranium, Remote Revenge. We got Grace for Revival. Come on. And a Gladiator Beast, a quest. Oh, those are such big packs. We tried, we tried. There's still a lot of big packs left. Don't freak out, guys. A lot of chances. We've got her champion pack game seven. I don't remember if I opened a bunch of that. I don't think I opened a bunch of game seven. Okay, Fairy King Truze. Now that's kind of a boring one. Because it, you know, it has the the shinier, prettier version. Premium pack two. Uh, okay, Elemental Year Inferno. The secret rares out of this set look amazing. I, I gotta say, the premium pack two ones look really good. Super A, he tries and heat, Lady Heat. Uh, oh, that's just regular heat. Lady Heat's also in here. Okay, pretty cards. Retro Pack 1. Recently been reprinted, but this is the original version. What do I want out of here? Amazon is Chain Master. Cyber Harpy Lady would be sick. Blue Eyes would be sick. Exodia. I mean, there's some good stuff to get out of the original set. We've opened this a lot recently, but this is the original pull rates. This is not the buffed pull rates they put on the uh, the new ones, so... I don't know. Let's do three from the back. That should be fine. Umiruka. Gazelle. UFO Turtle. Toon World. Toon Summon Skull. Sonic Bird. Luminous Spark. Wall of Illusion. I do love that card in Dueling. Uh, but it is not great. When I'm Dueling, I should say. In Dueling sounds funny. Light Destruction. Okay, we're moving past Retro Pack. Could you have a Gosher Honest? Could you have a Judgment Dragon? Could be cool. Could be cool. I don't know. Is this a Euro pack? This pack's weird. Come on. Let's do this. Three from the back. Garganeth. We've got the Arcane Force Zero the Fool. That was like a sticky pack. That was kind of weird. I feel like there was something going on with that pack. Quick Charger. So if we get something out of here, it'd be kind of shocking. We might have Helios Tries Magistus. Okay, just a super, but it was something. I'll take it. First edition, I don't know what was going on with that pack. That was super weird. It was super weird, and it was also super rare. Okay, champion pack game six. We are getting down to the nitty-gritty, guys. We are in 2008 right now. 2008 Stratos. Okay, rare Stratos. Not too bad. Mission Wall and Cold Wave. Cold Wave was probably crazy back then. Gold Series, the original. Can we get the Crush card? One of the hardest to pull cards from back in the day. It was probably like opening this year's Mega Tens. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Okay, Deslacuda. We'll pull that out for a little goat. Swarm of Locusts, Rivalry of Warlords, Rare Metal, Needleworm, Solar Flare, Little Lock Action, Fire Princess, Old Vindictive, Seven Colored, New Doria, Type Shield, Eight, Silva, Swarm of Scarabs, Skill Drain, Nightmare Penguin, Aclaw Scorpion, Needle Ceiling, Regenerating Mummy. Do you, how many of these do you get? Mirror Force. Okay. Swords Revealing Light. And a heavy storm. Those are a lot of power spell and traps right there. Not bad. Not too bad at all. Now Phantom Darkness. Dark Arm Dragon would be super sick. Never pulled it. Never pulled it in secret, I should say. First edition secret, because you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, come on. Come on. You know, ulti. I mean, no big deal. Okay, Sinister Seeds, Chain Summoning. Let's go. Sam Sarah, Black Velocity. This is a big pack. So if we could get something huge out of here. The Worm Warrior. And Dark Crusader. Okay. Okay, not that time. Not that time. Let's just spread out what we got left. Jesse Anderson. I think we're still in 2008. It could be getting close to 2007, though. Jesse Anderson, what will you give to us? Twister, Hand Destruction. Hand Destruction's not bad. Cut my life into pieces. Very nice. Jaden Yuki. Wait, Jaden Yuki did get multiple. Never mind, Jaden Yuki did get three. I take it back. So it wasn't just Yusei. Yusei and Jaden Yuki. But Yugi, for some reason... Didn't get any more. I don't know why. Probably because all of his, uh, he's in all the other packs. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Cats and gold. And hummingbird. All right. Shonen Jump. I really don't know what this is. Limited edition one. I have no idea. So let's find out. Uh, I, I really don't know. Oh, it's this pack. The Jump. Okay. There's like four cards in here. Cloning, Relieve Monster, Copycat, and Blast Fire. I think Copycat might be like 25, 30 bucks out of here. So I'm going to sleeve these up real quick. That's actually really sick. I didn't realize what that was. 
Nice, nice. Adding to our tally, which is if we could get to a thousand, we probably will get to a thousand bucks because of the jump. Well, I say pro we probably won't actually, but is it called jump? The anniversary pack, a 2008 anniversary pack will definitely help with that because it's just guaranteed values in there. Did have a damaged blue eyes, unfortunately, a little ding on it. Not damaged, but like light play. Dark Revelation Volume 4. DD Assailant Secret Rare. Something cool. I mean, there's a lot of big cards in, in this one. Oh, come on. Who knows? Might get a reprint soon. Don't destroy the pack. I don't know the pack trick, so I'm just going to go through it. Jetroid, Blade Skater, Death Frog, Ebal Magician Koran, Chthonian Soldier, Jetroid, Clock Tower Prison. No, it has returned to haunt us more. Not like this, please. Gladiator's Assault. Is this 2008 or 2007? I know Tactical is 2007, so this is either early 2008, late 2007. I mean, there's, there's great cards in here, but... Look, this is like this set is impossible to pull good cards, so I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna pretend like I have hope out of this one. One, two, three, four. I mean, what is up with that card looking way different? That's super weird. Uh A Cell Incubation for some reason looked way different on the back. Detonator Circle, Summon Cloud, Witch Doctor, Gladiator's Return. Oh, okay, we got an ultra. It's not one of the crazy cards, but it's an ultra rare. An Ishi. I'm not mad about getting ultras, too. Pretty decent. I'm still looking for another ulti though. We've gotten one so far. We're running out of packs that could have ulties, though, so we're gonna have to pull one soon. Okay, Tactical Evolution. Look, we pulled a Ghost Rare Rainbow Dragon before. We pulled an Unlimited and a First Dead, actually. So we're kind of experts at this. So they just step aside, let us handle this, guys. I don't know if we can do four from the back yet, so I'm just gonna keep doing three, just so I don't Ultra Rux and Special like Ghost Rare or something. <laughs> Crystal's Shaky Venom Swamp. Ringe. Fossil Tusker and Creature Seizure. Premium Pack. Here we go, Premium Pack. Can you give us uh, some of those cool secret rares? Lexi of Yada, Javelin, Red Eyes Black Metal. Oh, and the Magician of Black Chaos. He's not big money, but he is really sick. Champion Pack 4. This is the one with the disgusting texture. Never pulled Bottomless out of this set. I'm just saying, we opened 100 packs, no Bottomless. It would be justice to get one right now. Mind you. Oh, the Ultra Rare! Okay, one in 48, ultra rare Gurdia. Oh, that's our first really rare pull. If you don't know about champion pack, let me just see if I can show you guys. Let's sleep this thing up. On the back of this pack, it'll tell you. Uh, okay, if I can get this out of the way. Um, super rare cards, one in 12, ultra rares, one in 48 packs. So we just pulled a one in 48 out of a champion pack. That's actually a crazy pull. The thing is, this is not an expensive card, but who cares? I mean, like, that is, like, actually really rare. I'm gonna try to grade that. The centering looks, it's a little bit pushed up, or, yeah, pushed that way. That's pretty sick. Okay, the back's definitely, it's got this, this print back in this era when it was all slimy. It was so bad, so we're probably not gonna grade that, but that's still sick. Definitely our rarest pull so far in terms of, like, what it is. Okay, that's cool. That's exciting. We got to get a little excited. I'm, I like that. Force the Breaker first edition. I mean, if we could follow it up with a little uh, deck devastate, no, a uh, Eradicator Epidemic Virus Seeker Rare or a Rise of Ultimate Rare right here, wouldn't be bad. Okay, these are kind of weird too. Okay, four from the back. Let's go. I think we'd do four from now on. Volcanic, Crystal, Crystal, Crystal. Hard selling zombie. Grab Crest Dragon. Wildfire, and a Lucky Iron Axe. Ain't too lucky today. Champion pack game three. This has Spirit Reaper in it. So if we got that, I mean, we... Hey, look, we got something out of our out of a champion pack. So look, I said one tournament pack. We got something. So I can't complain. It's not the biggest card, but it's still pretty sick. DD Assailant. Getting an Ultra is wild, though. Like, really wild. That's pretty crazy. Okay, Zane True Zim. First dead. These are actually really hard to find. First dead. There's not a lot of huge pulls in here, but the packs themselves just aren't that easy to get. I remember when I was tracking it down in 2020 for the first one. This was one of the hard ones. Cyberdark Keel, Photon Generator, Cyber Laser Dragon, and Proto Cyber Dragon. Cool, cool. We are oh, we're in 2007. Imagine the ultimate for the ultimate rare forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card right now. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine that, everyone? Can you picture that? What's that from? It's from like some show back in the day or something. Okay, that would be one of our greatest pulls of all time. I'm gonna do four from the back. Come on. Come on, ulti. I don't even know if this is a hobby pack. If it's not, let's get that DD Crow. That'd be sick, too. We have change of hero. And a hero medal. Giving me a medal for effort. Duelist pack, Aster, Phoenix, 
The little Destiny heroes. Here we go. Phoenix Enforcer, cool. D time, little D time. Everybody, it's D time. All right, Jay and Yuki too. Jay and Yuki too. Let's go. Neos, contact. Aqua Dolphin, okay. There's still another Jay and Yuki pack, that's wild. Champion pack too. In here is Magician of Faith, so pretty big. Weird part about these champion packs is they didn't really put like the good cards as ultras, as you saw Gurnia. They put them as supers, so it's kind of strange. Okay, Ring of Destruction, good rare. Big Bang Shot, ha Happy Lover is like a $20, 20 something dollar common actually. So kind of cracked right there. That's a really good pack. Happy Lover is very expensive. I can't remember why, but for some reason it's like 20 something bucks. Yu-Gi-Oh GX, I think this is McDonald's pack maybe? McDonald's pack GX. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Here we go. I'm doing yes, 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 yes a lot today. Ooh, Aqua Jack. Remember when we pulled that misprint one when we did the McDonald's pack opening? You can go check that one out if you guys missed it. But that was really cool. Really cool error we pulled. Dark Revelation Volume 3. We are coming down towards the end of the video. I'm sure some of you guys have watched this in multiple parts. Some of you guys sat down and watched the entire thing the day it released. So respect to you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video because it's been a long one. I am. It's almost midnight here. Okay, that was just a rare. Lone Wolf. And uh, yeah, so this has been a long recording. My voice is feeling it right now. But thanks again, guys, for 250K. I appreciate you guys supporting for so long. It's been awesome. I hope we can get it. I'm hoping we can get a few more awesome pulls to end it. By Road Sacrifice, Barrier Statue, Linear, Abaki, Cyber Ogre. Come on, we're in 2006 right now, I think. Upside down card, that could be a good sign. It's a good sign, it's Cyber Dark Impact. Okay, or I guess the rare has to be upside down. 2006. Champion pack game one. There's no way this is, there's no way this has anything. It has to be light. The foils in this set are crazy. It has to be light. Yeah, okay, it is. Limited removal. I'm like, there There are almost no, there's gotta be no more unweighed packs of that, like, or, or very, very few. Power of the Duel is first dead. Here we go. Give us something big. If it's a retail pack, we want Future Fusion. If it's a hobby pack, there's a lot of great options. One, two, three, four. We're in 2006 still. Common Soul. Blade Master, Alien Hunter, Brainwashing Beam, Roxas Special, D Spirit, Crystal's Dolphin. Yes, okay. Black Terra, Flag Saucer, and D Chain. We got the D Time and the D Chain. Now it's time for Clock Tower Prison to return once again. <laughs> Enemy of Justice, give us that elemental hero, Phoenix. No, Shining Phoenix Enforcer. Yeah, Ulti. Cyber 2 2, Grand Convergence, Our Righteous Justice, Raging Area, Royal Knight. Storming Wind, Icarus Attack, and Hero Flash. The Flash of the Hero. We are on to the original tournament packs. This one could contain... Isn't this Harpy, Harpy's Feather Duster? How big would that be? Ooh, that'd be cool. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Okay, not even guaranteed rares in here. So, Secretary, uh, Secretarian of Secrets, Garma Oath, and Behagoth. Pretty awesome old school cards. I mean, that there's they're pretty cool. Garma Sword, I guess, is in there as well. The Chaz, time for a little Chaz. The Chaz, what do you have for us, Chaz? Arm Dragon level 10. Can we pull it? Ojama Yellow, Ojama Muscle, and Arm Dragon level 5. Okay, okay, very nice. Jaden Yuki, here we go. Come on, Jaden. Come on, Jaden. What shall we pull then? Draining Shield. I think, is this Card Trooper? Thunder Giant. Okay, Thunder Giant. I can't remember what the Ultra is in there. Sacred Beast, anybody? We have pulled two of them now. We have not pulled Uriah. We've pulled Raviel. We've pulled Amon. Both an Ultra on Lim. So I've never pulled a First Dead Ultra. I've never pulled an Ulti. So any of those would be great. Especially Uriah, because we've never pulled it. Ancient Gear Factory. Trial of Princesses. Miracle Kids. Parasite Take Eating Bit of Shien. Ancient Gear Drill. Generation a shift and the Princess Koran. Okay. All right. Elemental energy. Really big cards in here if this is a hobby pack. I'm not going to check the code because, you know, if it's not, I don't want to know. Why is this not opening? It's holding something inside. Shining flare. Wingman is in there. Yes, I got it. I got it without destroying the pack. One, two, three, four. Shining flare. Wingman. Here we go. Nano breaker branch. Infernal incinerator. Come on. 2005 is what we're in now. Weed outs. Zero, we're almost, we're in the OG. OG Yu-Gi-Oh. And Feather Shot, okay. These old packs, pretty rough, pretty rough. TP7, DD Warrior, I think? Not Warrior Lady, just DD Warrior. Ultra Rare. 
Skilled White Magician. Pretty cool go card. Soul Exchange. And NECA Gall number two. We invested in the NECA Gall, unfortunately. Big mistake. This is all we got left, guys. Enjoy it, guys. Enjoy, enjoy it while it lasts. The every pack opening is coming to an end. Let's pull a couple more big cards. It'd be great. It'd be great to get a couple more hits. All right, volume two. Here we go. Chaos Rider Gustav, super rare. This feels really thick for some reason. Avatar of the Pot. It was at the very beginning. They do, they did these so weird. The uh, the Dark Revelations, the order of the how they did it, very weird. But we got a super rare Chaos Rider Gustav. A little um, Ghost Rider action, not too bad. Okay, wait, is this a McDonald's pack? No, this is a McDonald's. What is this? I don't know what this is. Let's open it up and find out. It's like one card. Doesn't six? Oh, Forbidden Legacy, and we got the blue eyes. Let's go. Wait, this came out in 2004. I oh, know it's. Yeah, it was 2004. Okay, well that's cool. Secret Rare Blue Eyes. I'm not mad. Pretty sick. That'll be worth a little bit. So, no, 2005. We're in 2005. Yeah, so Forbidden Lexi. That is right. Okay. Cybernetic Revolution First Edition. If it is retail, we want Bubble Man. If it's hobby, you know what we want. Cyber Dragon, Cyber and Dragon, all that big stuff. Let's see if we can get something awesome. Even an ultra rare Cyber and Dragon would be sick. Tyranno Infinity, Mechanical Hound, Rux and Special, Jetroid. Almost a Rux and Special. Psychroid. you UFO Roid! I don't even think this thing deserves a sleeve, but I'll throw it in there. Of course, that's one of the foils we get at the end. <laughs> Unbelievable. It finds a way. Dark beginning to. Moving on. We're not going to think about that card anymore. Not going to think about it. I cannot believe that was in there. So stupid. <laughs> okay, here we go. Possess Dark Souls. Your priest, little goat card. Otohime, Roxen Special incoming. Lord of the Lamp. Lord of the Lamps in DB2? I don't remember that. Cyberstein, that's cool. Dragon, Bark Dark Ruler, newfound respect for that card. Really, really decent. D Doug Z fused it against me, it was really strong. Turbo Pack 6, let's get a little Toon Cannon Soldier. Is it Toon Cannon Soldier? Or is it Cannon Soldier? It's Toon Cannon Soldier, right? Nekugal number one. No, that's the one we invested in. Last turn in Cloud Zombie. Yeah, not Nekugal number two. <sighs> Lost Millennium. Early 2000, we're getting to early 2005 at this point. Burst in a trick. Man, this, this pack really is trying to rip. Burst in a tricks. Can we burst in a tricks? We have mine and golem. Very cool. Rocks and special. This is a really nice card. You know, you could grade those probably and do okay. Once you know the grading costs come down. Gift of the Martyr. And a Mega Rock Dragon. Super rare. Cool, cool. Mega Rock Dragon. Another foil. All right. Dark Revelation Volume Uno. Let's go. Let's do this right here, right now. Let's pull something crazy. Guardian South, dang it. I hate how they do that. So it puts it at the very beginning. Rivalry, crazy card. All right, no, those are annoying packs to open. All right, Flaming Eternity, the first ever every pack opening, we pulled an ulti uh, mammoth guy, whatever he's called, the uh, Tusk Mammoth or something. I wouldn't mind pulling a Sacred Phoenix or a, um, a Phoenix Wing Windblast ulti. I wouldn't mind that at all, actually, if you want to decide to give it to me. Blade Rabbit, we have the Hand of Nephthys, DD Dynamite. Golem Sentry, Hyena, Arm Samurai Benkai, The Light Hex Sealed Fusion, Centrifugal, and an Ulti Assault on GHQ. This is our lucky set, apparently, and look at the beautiful texture on that Ulti. That's pretty, actually. That must be a retail. I think that's a retail Ulti. That's a really pretty card, though. I will take it, a first edition Ulti. Second ulti of the day, correct? I believe that's right. Very nice. Rise of Destiny first ed. We are we are literally, we're in 2004, guys. 2004, started in 2002, so there's not many packs left. Maybe 20 packs left. If you guys are enjoying the video and you made it this far, just subscribe. I mean, you watch a two-hour video. I mean, you gotta subscribe for that, right? One, two, three, four. It's gonna be at least two hours, that's for sure. Let's get that creator. Let's get that perfect machine king, Pitch Black Warwolf. Actually a crazy card in Go format. Uh, Mighty Guard, Nightmare Penguin. Back to, square, back to square one. Creeping Doom Manta. And an ultimate rare to Koichi. That's basic. Is that back-to-back -back ultis? 
Back-to-back -back ultis were heating up, baby. And I just pulled this the other day, like maybe a month ago. This is one of the best ultis in retail. It's probably only like 30 bucks right now, but extremely undervalued in my opinion. For GOAT, it's a great card, high rarity. That is sick. That is probably my favorite card we pulled so far. I love Dukoichi. That is awesome. Now I have two of them for my GOAT format. Very nice. All right, it's going to be hard to go three in a row with a tournament pack, but... Luminous Soldier, Needleworm. I have a PSA 10 Needleworm and a PSA 10 Luminous Soldier for this. So I kind of have everything, but I wouldn't mind pulling more. I mean, I'm not going to complain. Out of a tournament pack. Pyramid Turtle, hey, a uh, little zombie action. That ain't bad. Okay, two ultis was pretty sick. That was awesome. That was awesome. And and really, the, some of the last ulti sets we have, we only have one. Yeah, we only have just Soul of the Duelist. I was like, did we do this the wrong order? No, Soul of the Duelist is 12. Okay, Dark Beginning 1. This is in the middle somewhere, I think. Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, Miba, Magic Drain. Okay, Mirror Wall. Okay, okay, we tried. Dark Beginning, Dark Revelation, not my favorite ones to open because of they have cool nostalgia cards, but you just never know where the foil is. There's no secrets, all that weird stuff. But okay, can we go three for three in the middle sets? The middle sets of Flaming Eternity, Rise of Destiny, and Soul of the Duelist and get three ulties. How crazy would that be? Let's make it a horse level four, by the way. Or if this is a hobby pack, level 6 or level 8, you know, that'd be pretty cool, too. Mass Dragon, we have uh, Mouse Doll of Demise, Big Wave, Small Wave, Gorgon. Red Eyes B-Chick, Level Up, Nobleman Eater Bug, the Tribute Set, Cement Bomb, and Innervating Miss. Okay, so we didn't go 3 for 3. Kind of a lot to ask, to be honest. Kind of a lot to ask. Movie Pack, will it be the Shining Dragon? We have a 1 in 4 chance to get Blue Eyes, Shining Dragon. Could be Wadapon, could be the Sorcerer of Dark Magic, and it could be the Pyramid. It's Wadapon. <laughs> That's brutal. Wadapon. Okay, exclusive pack. This is always the same. I think it's the Sphinxes and a few other things. So we'll open it up and show you guys what's inside, which is Sphinx, Andro Sphinx, Thena and the Great Sphinx, Return from Different Dimension, Pet in the Dark Clouds. So there's some cool stuff in there. We are officially on to the original, original era. The first 11 sets core sets and there's some other things mixed in like tournament pack and stuff on to the very end guys hopefully we can pull something awesome to end this thing off because those two ultis kind of let us up pretty well if we can finish off with a couple big pulls in dm it'd be amazing first edition ancient sanctuary let's go let's get enemy controller sonic jammer desert sunlight atomic firefly oh a little stain on the solar flare dragon we have the lot complete because we have two of them middle armor buck and a seal master massay invasion of chaos I have never pulled the Chaos Emperor Dragon or the Invader of Darkness Secret Rare. So either one, I would be pumped. Demok would be amazing and BLS would be amazing. Either one would be awesome. And we're starting it off with a Chop Man, the Desperate Outlaw. Hiya! And you guys know, when I pulled the BLS, I had a Chop Man in the pack. So I'm just saying. Curse of the Forbidden Spell, that's pretty good. Gigantes, pretty good. Multiplication of Ants. Terran King, Salmon, Chop Man, the Desperate Outlaw. Hiya! We just did that. Yellow Luster Shield. Burning Algae. Ojama Black and a Destruction Ring. That's all right. Okay, okay. We got our hopes up for IOC. Didn't quite happen. Now we'll do Dark Crises. Exodia Necros, first edition, anybody? Vampire Lord, first edition, anybody? Those could be sweet. Guardian Grarl would be awesome. Let's go. One, two, three, four from the back. Token Thanksgiving. Morale boost. Dark Scorpion, check the yellow. Falling down. Crazy Archfiend combos going on. Not really a combo, but Sasuke Samurai number two. Seal. Frozen Soul, Staunch Defender. And a cost down. Ultra rare. Very cool. I might grate this. Yeah, I might have some scuffing, but I might try it. Sinner's really good, actually. So, an ultra rare from an original set. Not bad. Not too shabby. We got a jump pack. This must be some jump promo. Not sure what this one is, though. Jump promo card. What is it? Red eyes. Jump. Oh, and it's damaged. Yeah, because, I mean, there's not a lot of support in this thing. Let's be honest. I said let's be honest probably a hundred times in this video. So thank you guys for bearing with me. I'm, it's a long video, okay? I've been talking for over two hours straight. Magician's Force. I mean, do we even need to say what we want here? Do we even need to say? Magician's Force. 2003. First edition pack. There's a lot of cards I would love in here, and I would take any of them, really. Any for, any Ultra Rare Plus would be incredible. Old Vindictive, Goat Format, Mass Driver, no thank you. Boys in the Old Man, Pigeon Holding, Thunder Ruler, Koitsu, Magical Marionette. Okay, it's an effect monster. 
Great Phantom Thief. Okay. I thought we might add a foil. We didn't, though. Oh, man. Dark Magician Girl. Never pulled it. One day it's going to happen. Well, first dead, at least. Tournament pack for Royal Decree, please. One in 108 or something, right? 108. Where is it? Yeah, one in 108. So br brutal on the original. I mean, they're really, really hard to get ultras. Mad Sword Beast. I mean, maybe it's after this. Who knows? Rush Recklessly and Hayabusa Knight. We got a little Arkansas Razorback action. Ferrana Guardian. Only uh, three, six, nine, 12, 13 packs left in the every pack opening. Over 325 packs have been opened or will be opened. Total. Oh, man. Come on, Ferrana Guardian. Don't do that to us. Don't rip up. A lot of packs. A lot of packs. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Maybe one day we'll do it again. We'll see what we do when we get to uh, an upside down card. That, that can mean good things sometimes. When we get to 300K, we're all already on our way. We're already at like 252 or something or 251 by the time you see this. Rancher, we got Poison Mummy. Call the Mummy. Royal Tribute, crazy card. Just don't activate it when you have monsters in your own hand. Dark Coffin, that's Lakuta. I rock some special to the Wing Stage Falcos. It's really hard because these Ferran and Guardian cards are not even. They are very uneven, actually. Legacy of Darkness, set number six. Core six, or core set number six. Yada and Jackson Fairy Lily. A lot of great cards that I would love to pull right here. One, two, three, four. Double Snare, Devil Snare, Soul Demolition, Convulsion of Nature, Woodland Sprite, Super Robo Lady, Troop Dragon, Feng Shing Mirror, Patrician of Darkness. And a Dark Ruler, Ha Dez. This is our guy in Legacy of Darkness. We pulled this many times. Even when we had that terrible opening with Moist Critical and we couldn't pull anything, this was the one card we actually did pull. I pulled this a lot of times. It's an amazing ultra rare. That is awesome. Okay, really, really good pull out of LOD. One of the better ones. Very nice. So that's two ultras pulled out of the original 11 uh, core sets, which is really cool. Tournament pack three. TP3 Needleworm. Anybody? TP3 Needleworm? That would be one heck of a pull, wouldn't it? Spirit of the Harp, Goblet Seeker Remedy, and a Blade Fly. So not happening this time, but it would have been cool. Labyrinth of Nightmare. It's been a great opening so far. It'd be fantastic to add a nice Last Warrior. Remember when we pulled Last Warrior Parallel Secret the other day? We'll add an Ultra right here. Add a Gemini Elf, maybe. Add a Magic Cylinder. I mean, I don't know if it's a retailer hobby, but I mean, add something like that would be great. We have Earl of Demise. Soul of Purity and Light, Deal of Phantom, Flying Fish, Emperor's Holiday, The Gross Ghost of Fled Dreams. This monster feeds on the dreams of an unwary sleeper, dragging the victim into an eternal slumber. Lady of Asa Lady Salem Flames, I cannot speak, and Fire Princess. I feel like I pulled this one a lot too. Fire Princess Super Rare. So that's three foils now in the originals. That's, that's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I hope that keeps up. Here we have McDonald's pack, I believe. McDonald's pack. Millennium Shield. Can, can you can you give us the moment that we've all been waiting for? My one of my favorite cards. We've only pulled Chigolates. Oh, we got a damage card. I don't care. Millennium Shield's damage. Turtle Bird. Okay. Euron's out. They're both bent. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. It's really down to the nitty gritty here. Pharaoh Servant, first edition. That black text is so cool. Can we get the Genzo? Genzo time, please. One, two, three, four. Genzo, Genzo, where art thou, Genzo? Metal Detector, Common Carry number two. Guido, Dismissal Inspection. Fire Dragon, Invitation to a Dark Sleep. Mystic Probe. And a Morphing Jar number two. Pretty cool card, but not a Genzo. Turn it back to, speaking of Morphing Jar. Anybody? Anybody want to pull a Morphing Jar? Maybe even a Genzo Jar? We could get a Genzo. We didn't get Genzo there. We could get one here. Genzo Jar. It could happen. Spirit of the Books. Pretty cool. Sky Dragon. And Turin Purin. Okay, Turin Purin. Here is just, I think this is just a Forbidden Legacy Spell Ruler pack, just so you ha we have a Spell Ruler pack. But we have 25th, so I don't know. This is just kind of a basic pack right here. So let's just see if we can pull something cool. It'd be great. One, two, three, four. I don't know. I'm a level nuzzler. Yeah, if it's a Forbidden Legacy, four is good. Dark Witch, so many vanillas in Magic Ruler, it's crazy. Ryren, and Horn of the Unicorn. The Unicorn's Horn. Five packs left in the every pack opening, guys. It's been fun. Let's try to pull one more big card. Magic Ruler, first edition. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. 
relinquished. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Octoburser. Hungry Burger. Commencement Dance. Metal Fish. Fire Kraken. Dark Witch. Crab Turtle. Snake Fang. And a Mystic Tomato. Pretty cool card. Mystic Tomato. Classic. Four packs left. We have Tournament Pack 1. We've pulled Mech Chaser before. I wouldn't mind doing it again. I wouldn't mind pulling an Axe Raider either. That'd be cool. We've pulled Whitehall. We've pulled, uh... Pulled a lot of those supers, actually. I think there's only two we haven't pulled. Oslo Hero, Wild Warrior, and Wudon. Not even any rares in the TP. That was kind of rough. Okay. Promotional pack. There's only two There's only two cards in here, so this is kind of a cool piece of history. You probably shouldn't open it. I think it's always commons. Let's see. You can get the Summon Skull, though, I think, which is cool. Harpy Lady. Okay. Harpy Lady. No, no. I was thinking of SDY, so maybe not. Okay. That's cool. Two backs left. We have Metal Raiders First Ed. We have LOB First Ed. Hit that like button, subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. There will be more cool videos coming out throughout the years. Probably, and probably do this again at some point. I won't say never. It could happen again. It's always fun to do. I feel like we've done okay. We've actually done okay. We've had a lot of... The foil rates have actually been pretty decent this time. We're getting... like We've gotten like three pulls out of the OG. So it really feels decent. And if we could get one here, it'd be really great. Ballastir, we have Hayasube. We just haven't hit that huge pull yet. So we can get Gate Guardian, Summon Skull, Beast Skull right here. Lose the Faceless Mage. Can we get the Petite Moth? Jellyfish. Shroyer Golem. An Elegant Egotist. Okay. Wasn't a great Metal Raiders pack, unfortunately. And that leaves us with the final pack of the day. The first at LOB. Look, if this has a foil at all, it's a huge win. Because these are really hard to get unweighed. So if we get like a Super, I'm pumped. If we get an Ultra, I'm going to freak out. If we get a Secret, I'll also freak out. I mean, it's already... It's already... Uh, this, def this definitely seen some, some wear on it. If this thing is not light, I will be shocked. I will be pumped as well. So let's try to get some good comments as well. Dissolve Rock, Wasteland, last pack magic of the 250k opening, 325 plus packs open today. Every pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, TCG-wise. Uh, basic Insect, Dark Gray, Turtle Tigre, Hard Armor, Kumutoko, come on. At least give us Pot of Greed, that'd be sweet. Poor Dragon Capture Jar, all right. Hey, look, maybe the Blue Eyes is in there. Maybe it's already been captured. All right, guys, what an amazing opening every pack ever made. We actually got a few pretty crazy cards. It was pretty exciting. If you enjoyed it, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you go check out the other parts of the 250K special, the last six videos I've posted. And once again, thank you guys for supporting the channel throughout the years. I appreciate you guys. Shout out to Tone Show, Ernesto Dianda, America Deutscher, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time.